The story begins with surgeons performing an operation on a patient. During the operation, it was determined that there was a malignant tumor of the skin glands under the abdominal cavity, so the surgeons wondered what to do with the patient. Chief Surgeon, Professor Mori Uchiro was an expert in pancreatic and hepatobiliary surgery. The man turned to assistant Fu Sang because although the equipment of their hospital limited the ability to carry out a successful operation, he had to try hard. The chief resident of the First Department of General Surgery, Sen Meng, looked at the Japanese professor and concluded that he is truly incredible, despite the fact that Fu San is well trained, but he does not even dare to contradict him. Several of the guys who stood by and watched the operation were trained this way, but wanted to understand how watching the operation would help them in their training. Suddenly, the guy noticed that his friend was not listening to him. He stood with his eyes closed, and the guy concluded that he was sleeping, it was the attending physician of the first department of general surgery, Chen Ren. In fact, he was not sleeping, and extended his hands after addressing him. After all, it seemed to him that with his eyes closed he could see more. It was as clear as if he were the chief surgeon, experienced in movement, very fast and agile. And Zhen Ren performs operations as easily as artists at a concert, and he as a performer. But suddenly, the sound disappeared and the operation was suspended. The watching guys wanted to understand whether it was necessary to continue the operation further, but the operation must have failed. It was impossible to believe it, the professor was an expert in the field of pancreatic and hypobellar surgery. Zhen Ren knew this, but even a world-class specialist could fail the operation. Seeing the professor's failure, another surgeon will be forced to report this situation to the director. Problems with adhesion are actually not uncommon, and this is not a reason for a professor with many years of experience to end the operation. The excited professor did not know what to answer, and asked if they wanted to try the operation again. The tumor tissue and the lower veins are directly connected to each other, everyone saw the professor trying his best. But the assistant did not care at all, and he wanted to report what had happened to the director. Immediately after this, the assistant slammed the door behind him and did not want to talk to anyone. While communicating with each other, and discussing with the guy that the assistant was a really slippery guy, he turned around and left as soon as the operation failed. Suddenly, the professor turned to Zhen and Ling Meng because they should be in charge of closing the abdominal cavity during the operation. Lin was surprised because Zhen Ren was glad that they would just have to cover their stomach. This is exactly what they were waiting for when they watched this operation, and besides, Zhen Ren almost completed it in his sleep. An unknown creature hid in the operating room and watched everything that was happening, and it did not have enough vital energy, and it was urgent to find the owner. Looking at Zhen Ren, the creature realized that a suitable candidate had been found, and the process of parasitism was launched. As soon as the process began, the hero felt something unusual. It was like there was a sound in his head. Standing near the operating table, he felt very strange. The magical creature completed parasitism, and the binding to the system was completed. The new owner must receive a task. The first task for the beginner has begun, time to complete is 30 minutes. The system installation was successful, and the task is open for a beginner. Zhen Ren only had 30 minutes to complete it. And from that very moment the countdown began. The partner saw how the hero began to carry out the operation on his own and asked him to stop. After all, the director only asked them to help and finish the operation. With scissors in his hands, his body seemed to not obey him, or there was a feeling that his soul had moved into another body. The unknown creature revealed emotional arousal, hormonal imbalance, and temporary sedation in the guy. With the help of his magical abilities, the creature completed the sedative treatment, and the opportunity to experience such an experience was given to him once in a lifetime, and it should be appreciated. Suddenly, he also realized, that the scissors he used could be used in other ways. And the guy wondered how to find this abnormally proliferating tumor near a blood vessel. Everything seemed to be happening too quickly. Zhen Ren could not stop, this process was like floating clouds and flowing water. He was overcome by that familiar feeling of someone helping him like a violinist who is immersed during his performance. He finally found an abnormally proliferating tumor. He needed to fuse the space between the abdominal aorta and the tumor. His incredible concentration seemed to increase, and he worked much more efficiently. The abdominal aorta was approximately 3 centimeters in size, had poor elasticity, and was damaged during adhesion. If you do something wrong, the patient can lose his life. 
The hospital does not have the necessary equipment to carry out this type of operation, Professor Mori had to decide to stop the operation, and he asked the system to let him see how it planned to solve this situation. Time was running out, but the hero continued to do everything possible to save the patient. Everyone present asked him to stop, because they doubted his competence, but he continued the operation. Literally the entire hospital watched the operation live, and they believed that it was impossible to complete it with bare hands. It was obvious to one of the doctors that he refused to perform the operation, it was unknown how one could work in a hospital in a small prefecture. The man listening to him did not understand why Fong Lin was talking so loudly. It was Dr. and Professor Gu Yunyan, and he didn't see anything wrong with it. Fan Lin, who was studying to be a doctor, watched what was happening and thought that Haiching Hospital sounded familiar. Professor Gu Yunyan heard that the rising star had gone there. Fong Lin immediately asked if the professor had seen the star. The old man replied, there is something there to look at, and the problem is solved, it doesn't matter whether he sees it or not. But the professor also added that Fong Lin should watch the next time the live broadcast is turned on and called him. Closing the door behind you. The main character sighed heavily, he was covered in sweat. He felt as if. It culminated in surgery. The guy left the operating room because the remaining time for the operation was zero. Suddenly, Jinren felt as if he was in a dream. When he woke up, he felt how cold it was in his sleep. But as it turned out, he ended up in system space. In surprise, the guy looked at the space around him, and was surprised at how a person could be in the system, he only heard sounds, but did not see anyone. Out of nowhere, a bright beam of light began to fly towards him. Subsequently, it fell right onto his hand. Looking at the object that was in his hand, the hero was amazed that his reward was so small. He wanted to understand why this system was so empty. There was something in it that looked like God's repository. Curiosity was stronger than fear, and despite the cold, he went to the storage room to take a closer look at it. As he approached, he began to examine it closely. There was a stone fox in it, it didn't look like anything special. This meant that the source of the system was the stone fox. Plus, he looked small and cute. Touching the stone fox, Zhen Ren saw a message indicating that he had completed the task and needed to receive his reward. The reward for the new bee was 5 experience points and 1 energy potion. Also, the system indicated to him the opportunity to open the skill system. Having done this, a bright column of light appeared in front of the hero, which was literally blinding. The process was started, the system loaded the completed form, and began calculating skill points. Immediately after this, a powerful skill tree appeared in front of the hero. Seeing him, Zhen Ren thought that the tree was big, which meant he was very strong. The calculation of skill points was completed, for the beginner level he needed from 0 to 100 points, for the intermediate level from 101 to 300 points, for the advanced level from 301 to 1000 points, for the expert level from 1001 to 1500 points. This meant that there were medical skills that he had not yet mastered, but at the moment, his skills had reached an advanced level, this was due to his many years of experience, and he wanted to reach at least the level of deputy director. And after the advanced level, an expert, a master, a mentor, an outstanding figure. And the highest level that Zhen Ren so wanted to achieve. Seeing his level, the hero immediately asked if there were any more tasks for him. Having turned to the stone fox, the system never answered him. At that moment, he thought that the system should immediately send him a task when he said, and he realized that he needed to wake up. Stretching out his finger to touch the stone fox, he again had a strange sensation. As if something was about to happen to him. And so, he woke up in his bed. It turned out that it was a dream after all. A moment later they called the guy on the phone and asked what the hell he did yesterday. He performed the operation without permission and will bear responsibility for the consequences. It was Director Liu, and he called specifically to scold the guy. The director ordered the hero to immediately go to the emergency department and report to him. In a state of shock, Zhen Ren tried to understand what had happened. And it turned out that it was not a dream after all. A few hours later, the guy already approached the hospital to report to the director. Looking at the entrance to the hospital, the guy understood what the consequences could be. As soon as he entered the director's office, he immediately began shouting that Zhen Ren could not perform pancreatic resection surgery and would bear responsibility for all the consequences. The evil director Lu wanted to drive the hero away right now and ordered him to immediately go with him to the emergency room. 
This was extremely unexpected for the hero, because he expected to be fired. The head director at that moment asked him to get out of here because he was angry when he saw his face. But this is what the hero liked, after all, no one knew what the director liked so much about this guy, and he left him no matter what. This is enough to carry out the operation because Zhen Ren wants to reach the highest level in surgery. As soon as he entered the hospital, everyone was discussing that he had broken the rules during yesterday's operation. A lot of people thought that people like him wouldn't last long in the general surgery department. The girl present at yesterday's operation was waiting for him and greeted the guy. The lady was so happy that she wanted to come closer to Zhen Ren. But her legs began to give way from joy. And because of her awkwardness, she fell right on the hero, thereby knocking him over to the floor. This girl was Sei Ren, and she performed an operation together with Zhen Ren, the lady wanted to perform another operation with him, and asked to be allowed to be the nurse for the operation. At that moment, the hero remembered that it was really her, and she had good skills. But in the emergency department, as a rule, there is no personal nurse, and the head nurse will not agree, the guy said. The girl had her own argument for this, the younger brother of the head nurse runs a company in her ownership, she refused to pay her brother's rent for three years, and she agreed. Xia Zhen used to participate in the family business, but not now, her house is located on Ling Men Street, and there are seven buildings. The hero was amazed, now she was a nurse and collected rent every month from these buildings. He didn't understand how she went to work as a nurse with such an incredible amount of money, and the guy finally realized that he didn't understand the world of rich people. Zhen Ren approached the head nurse and said that he had been transferred from general surgery to the emergency department, but Director Pan was not there now, he said that he would arrange everything so that he would become the chief resident and be responsible for the clinical work of surgery. At that moment, the hero realized that Director Pan did not seem to know that he was carrying out the operation. Suddenly, someone behind approached the guy and girl, and he asked the hero if he wasn't the new chief resident in their emergency department. This man was Dr. Yuan, he came a few years ago, and the elder sister no longer knew what to say. Yuan was an attending physician in the emergency department, and for several years he was still unable to achieve a promotion. Suddenly, a patient turned to the doctor and said that he had a headache. He sighed heavily, and the man asked him to see other doctors. Looking at the patient, Zhen Ren had an unusual feeling. As a result of the system, he could see information about the patient, he was 17 years old. He was suffering from nausea, there were minor signs of bleeding near the anterior communicating artery, and no adverse reactions were noticed elsewhere. Based on the information Jin Ren saw, he concluded that it was a cerebral hemorrhage. The patient couldn't believe it and didn't think it was possible. The doctor began to laugh because he thought the hero was sick, and the patient could not have a cerebral hemorrhage, his guesses were unique. But the hero did not even think about retreating, he was sure that this was a cerebral hemorrhage, it was risky and treatment was necessary. A CT scan of the head needs to be done, and someone needs to bring a first aid kit, if this is a hemorrhage, he will be immediately sent to neurosurgery. The doctors looked at Zhen Ren in surprise, and did not understand how such a diagnosis could be made without asking a doctor, it is not surprising that he was taken to the emergency room. Nervous, the guy realized that they didn't know that he had a system and he could directly see the patient's situation, and he thought about how to explain it so that they would believe it. But there was another option to refuse this patient. Suddenly, someone shouted that they believed Dr. Zhen. It was the nurse who shouted that she believed Dr. Zhen Ren. And then she asked the doctor not to worry and to leave the patient to her. The hero clearly did not expect such a turn of events and looked at her in surprise. The fact that she supported him made the guy very happy. Yuan continued to shout that if Zhen Ren didn't understand anything, then he shouldn't poke his nose into this patient's treatment. Approaching the guy, Dyar, Yuan said that he had consulted with this patient before, and his headache was a common condition after he had trouble sleeping. Because of this, the hero concluded that it really looked like kidney failure. However, the possibility of a brain hemorrhage is still possible, if this is true, then every second counts. The indignant doctor continued to argue, because the hero did not even conduct a consultation, and they were already making such a serious diagnosis. Suddenly, another man began to approach, who said that neurosurgeons most of all hate patients who have nothing to do with them, they have so many operations that it is difficult to keep up with everything. The head nurse told the guy that he couldn't walk around like that. This made Dyar, Yuan laugh, he thought that the guy didn't even look like an entry-level doctor, 
from that moment on, he hoped that the hero would no longer meddle in other people's affairs. The phrase meddling in other people's affairs struck Chen Ren, and he refused, as long as there are patients who need emergency care, he will not pretend to be blind. Dr. Yuan continued to shout after him that the hero would answer for this, when Director Pan returned, he would find out everything, but Chen Ren was hungry and offered the guy something to eat. He was unperturbed, the most important thing for him was saving people's lives, but if he always relied on the diagnostic system, others would suspect that his medical skills would not improve. At this point, he decided that he would only use the diagnostic system in emergency situations. Further events continued to occur in the buffet. The balanced guy and the restless doctor stood together and were about to take food. Zhen Ren took Yuan's card and asked if he could use his card because the hero card did not have enough funds. But the doctor was indignant, because he was against it, and asked Chen not to be so arrogant. The people who were at the dinner began to discuss the guy, they heard that something went wrong during an operation involving him. Another doctor was observing what was happening, it was Su Yuan, he was a doctor in the intensive care unit. One of the men asked him why he wasn't studying for a doctorate in cardiotheracic surgery, because it's great to be a surgeon. Su Yuan sighed heavily and thought about what to answer. And grinning, he said that his face would negate the patient's anesthesia, and he would not be able to perform the operation in such conditions. The men agreed with him, he spoke correctly, because Brother Yun was indeed very handsome. This amused Su Yuan and he began to laugh embarrassedly. Suddenly, Dr. Zhang, who was a neurosurgeon, started calling Zhen Ren, and he looked incredibly angry. This also attracted Su Yuan's attention and continued to observe the situation. Dr. Yuan began to gloat because Zhen Ren was new to the department and would finally get punished for misdiagnosis. The enraged neurosurgeon began to approach closer and closer to the hero. Suddenly, he grabbed the hero by the back of his shirt. And with admiration, the man asked him how a small bleeding around the arteries, with a volume of only one milliliter, could be seen without using a computed tomography. These words made everyone nervous, because it was impossible to make such a diagnosis without a tomography. Dr. Yuan's jaw almost dropped when he heard this, that this diagnosis was indeed correct. Brother Zhen Ren was indeed able to easily determine the patient's diagnosis without using tomography devices. And the neurosurgeon wanted to know how Dr. Zhen was able to make such an accurate diagnosis. The excited guy didn't know what to answer, because he had a system that told him the diagnosis, and if he spoke about it, he would be considered a psychopath. But a moment after that, it was not the neurosurgeon who asked the guy to forget about it, because he had three neurosurgeries that morning, and he added one more, and they should talk another time. Suddenly, the pink-haired guy shouted that Zhen Ren was blind. Turning around, he saw that it was Su Yun and realized that it was better not to approach him. Emotionlessly, he said that let everything go by itself and he immediately began to walk away into the distance. Su Yun found this guy curious. Some time later, events continued in the operating room. Zhen Ren was preparing for the operation. With deft movements of his hands, he performed incredibly complex actions, and carried out the operation literally alone. The girl admired how precise the hero's movements were, if it were her will, she would have captured every movement. But for the hero it was a completely ordinary thing, and he was simply doing his job. But he also didn't think anyone but her would consider it anything special. Suddenly, a guy ran in and said that he would kill the surgeon if he did not cure his brother. Outraged, the man who was undergoing surgery shouted for his brother to get out, his brother apologized and began to leave. The man asked the doctor not to pay attention and just do his job, because this kid was talking nonsense. Dr. Jin exclaimed that the girl seemed scared. The lady was embarrassed, because she was not afraid of anything and you should not underestimate her. The patient, meanwhile, was thinking that if he had known that it was so painful, he would have asked for general anesthesia. At that moment, the door opened and a bright light shone from it. The lady told the doctor to continue the operation while she was going to see what was going on outside. Three unknown men with bats entered through the door, one of them was holding the patient's brother. The patient shouted that during the operation they came for an unknown reason. And the hero immediately began to swing his hand at him. Because if he doesn't lie still, the operation will be unsuccessful. The hero introduced himself and said that he was a doctor, and an operation was now underway, he asked all of them to leave the operating room immediately. The girl's concern was immediately noticeable, and it seemed that the doctor was in danger. 
The bandit hit the floor with the bat and said that he doesn't hit doctors and nurses, but this guy will go with him. The lady was very worried and asked the doctor what she should do. He looked at the girl, the hero told her to leave here immediately. The girl looked at him blankly, but was going to fulfill his request. This made the bandit laugh, as if the doctor wanted to show off in front of the beauty, presenting himself as a hero, and the man also wanted to take part in this performance. Zhen Ren was a doctor whose hands were shaking in such a situation, but he had no choice. He understood that he definitely could not defeat the bandits, even if by some miracle he succeeded, he would be prosecuted and kicked out of the hospital, the only thing he could do was defend himself. At this moment, he wanted to see if he could protect himself, and he wondered why the system couldn't improve his strength score. The bandit shouted and pointed the bat at the guy, since he doesn't want it in a good way, it means it will be in a bad way, because he was tired of waiting. Suddenly, someone behind him asked Xiao Lu Zi what was wrong with him today. It turns out that it was his grandfather, who also came to the ward. Zhen Ren continued to observe the current situation, and was surprised that the grandfather came to the bandit. The elderly man was Mr. Boo's butler. The butlers informed that the operation was successful, the gentleman had already woken up, and his first words were a request to thank Dr. Zheng. Unfortunately, the hero did not remember who Mr. Bu was. The doctor began to remember that he had done well during that operation with a critical patient, but he also did not understand why this man was here. Mr. Bu was recovering, so he sent the butler to thank the doctor personally, and asked if Shen Ren had a minute of free time. The concerned guy replied that he had surgery ahead of him and they should talk next time. Unexpectedly, the system sent a message that the task was completed. It consisted in the fact that it was necessary to perform 10 operations to remove appendicitis, and there was only 3 days for this. At this moment, the hero did not understand at all what was happening, and why the system so abruptly notified him about it. Also, the system indicated that if the host was unable to complete the task, the system would automatically force the task to complete. And since the host's capabilities are limited, the reward will be issued in advance. While the host is in this space, the course of real time and time spent in the void will be different, in addition, the host will not expend energy and vital resources. The host only has 15 days of unlimited time to practice appendectomy surgery and should have used this resource. It was from this moment that the countdown began. The hero had not performed this operation for a long time, and even missed it. At this moment, he used all his acquired skills and mastery, which he had developed over years of practice. Masterfully possessing tools for carrying out operations, he had no equal in this matter. And with ease, in a few minutes he completed the first operation. Zhen Ren thought that everything went quite well, but that was not enough. Even after 108 operations, it was still not enough. And he continued to perform operation after operation, achieving perfection. The time allotted to him was gradually running out, but he didn't even think about stopping. Having completed the last operation, the time he was given was up. During this time, he managed to complete 2,317 operations, and the tasks from the system were completed. Returning to the events in the operating room, the butler said that he would wait for the doctor until he finished the operation. Looking at his watch, Zhen Ren saw that time had indeed stopped. At the same moment, the head nurse entered the operating room and began calling for the doctor. Because Director Pan was looking for him. The guy apologized because he couldn't go with the man now and they should make an appointment next time. The old man kindly agreed and said that he would return another time. Walking along the corridor after the operation, the hero was thinking about why the director was calling him, if you believe the words of the head nurse, it was he who gave him a recommendation for transfer to emergency care. Knocking on the office door, he waited for the director to let him in. The man approached him from behind and told the guy to enter the office. This man was Director Pan, the head of the emergency department, and asked the hero if he was the same Zhen Ren. The hero confirmed that this was indeed the case, and thought that the director had an aura, as expected from a steel-hardened military doctor. The director called the heroes into the office to say only one thing, that his department was planning to perform an emergency operation, and he searched for the right person in all the departments, as the head of the departments, he hopes that Zhen Ren will lead the group. Confused, the hero agreed, but he also wanted to understand why he should lead it. Pan asked the hero if he operated on that rich man. With surprise, the hero continued to look at the director, and did not understand how he could know this. But the guy should have remained calm, 
he probably just guessed or heard from someone, or maybe from Director Lu or Ding Fu, but then the question arose, since he broke the rules, then why is he still here? The hero admitted to the director that he was the one who did it. The motionless director stood and was silent. But soon after that, he immediately began to laugh loudly. Calling the guy a daredevil, he said he appreciated his honesty. The director didn't care what methods he used. After all, when the Japanese professor gave up, Zhen Ren took a desperate step and saved the patient, the hero knows the value of life, and is not afraid to break the rules, which is why Pan chose him. With a smile on his face, the hero looked at the director and thanked him, because the hero was going to do everything in his power. Suddenly, a nurse came in and said that something bad had happened. Many doctors gathered and wanted to know whether the operation should take place in the general surgery department. Everyone was upset that there had to be an emergency surgery in the emergency room. Zhen Ren at this moment realized that they clearly did not like carrying out an emergency operation in their departments, it is not surprising that they were angry. The brave director looked at the indignant doctors and told them that the operation would be carried out in their department, and there could be no disagreement. The doctor was indignant, because Zhen Ren did not have enough experience, and he was interested in who would be responsible if something went wrong during the operation. Director Pan was the head of this department, and he takes full responsibility upon himself. The arrogant doctor who stood behind began to shout that at his age he himself could end up on the surgical table at any moment. The indignant hero continued to watch what was happening. Director Lu agreed with the insolent person behind him, because Pan was really not getting any younger, and was far from what he was before. The director sadly admitted that he really wasn't as good as he used to be. In the emergency department there are doctors who are ready to do anything to save the patient's life. The impudent people were filled with laughter and asked if he was really talking about Zhen Ren now, and wanted to know if he would regret his decision. Director Liu was amused by this because he thought they had a new genius in the emergency department, but he was just a common rogue doctor who was kicked out of the general surgery department by the director. Pan began to defend the hero's rights and said that Dr. Zhen was a doctor in his department. Zhen Ren said at this moment that since Director Liu doubted him, he could give him some evidence to reassure him. He has performed 10 appendectomy operations and if any problems arise during the operation, he will retire immediately. In this regard, all subsequent operations were carried out live, and each director watched them. Director Liu was surprised that Dr. Zhen Ren decided to engage in self-praise, but this is a good opportunity to test it in practice. Before the operation, the hero asked to check the information about the patient, the man was 40 years old, was hospitalized on the first day with complaints in the right hypochondrium, an ultrasound showed an inflammatory formation in the area of the gallbladder, cholecystitis was diagnosed. As Zhen Ren said earlier, the general surgery department congratulated the wrong diagnosis. This patient does not have acute cholecystitis, but ectopic acute purulent appendicitis. Today's surgery is supposed to be to remove appendicitis. The doctor overseeing the operation asked Director Pan that pain in the right hypochondrium and inflammation in the gall bladder area were not symptoms of purulent acute appendicitis. Director Liu replied that no matter how small the probability of this is, it certainly cannot be ruled out, the patient is already in the operating room, and this should be left to Dr. Zhen. In a whisper, the director asked the doctor if everything was ready, the doctor replied not to worry, he had everything ready, the operation was broadcast not only there. He called the head of the medical department, with his help, if the diagnosis is incorrect or there are still some doubts about its reliability, general surgery will be able to emerge victorious. Deputy Medical Director Lee watched closely. The insidious director also added that he should not play the fool, he should be ready to begin the operation at any time, but the doctor replied that this was not a problem. Lu also understood that this was just an emergency room. And Director Pan is already too old. As it turns out, this operation is being broadcast live to many people. Zhen Ren began to get nervous, he was worried that so many people were watching him. His assistant immediately noticed this, and she instantly turned to him, after which, she began to encourage him so that he would not worry, because they would cope. The hero replied that he was not nervous, just a little excited about the role of the performer. Because he is not a spectator, he is a performer. Previously, he just sat by the stage, but now, he is finally standing on the stage himself. And at this moment, the operation begins. From that moment, Zhen Ren's performance began. 
And the girl bravely and without fear assisted the hero, using incredible concentration, he used all his skills to carry out the operation. Looking at what was happening, the girl herself gave him the necessary tools, as if she understood him without words. And this even amazed the hero a little, because she was really experienced. Director Liu was also struck by this, and he wanted to ask who the experienced nurse was, the doctor replied that her name was Xie Ren, she was sent to the emergency room the other day, last time she also assisted Jin Ren. Han spent the entire time listening to what they were discussing among themselves, rather than marveling at how Diar, Jin could act so confidently during surgery. The broadcast continued, and all the people watching the process commented on what was happening. But this did not distract from the main character at all, and he continued to carry out the dangerous operation. At this moment, the hero asked for an aspirator to complete the operation. This amazed those watching, because it really was a matter of appendicitis, he didn't even need an assistant, because he was confident in his own actions. The observing doctors were also amazed, because the diagnosis was cholecystitis, and it was unknown that he was going to operate there. Suddenly, Director Liu sent Dr. Sen to wash his hands, and he immediately stood up and walked out. Liu laughed and said that it seemed like they were in for a good show. Looking at what was happening, he expected an unsuccessful outcome of this operation. With concentration that anyone could envy, Zhen Ren continued to carry out the operation. The hero turned out to be right, and appendicitis was found. He couldn't tighten the artery because of the swelling, and it seems the hero was going to tighten it with stitches. After this, he immediately began to continue the operation. And yet, this operation was to remove the appendix. The nurse continued to watch the hero and thought he was very cool. From the skill of the operation, all the observing doctors stood up and were shocked. They wanted to understand what Jin Ren was going to do. Literally he continued the operation with his fingers, his skill had no equal. The doctor saw that the hero was using the same method as last time, Director Liu asked him to shut up and not mention it again. The good execution of the operation made Director Liu incredibly angry as he watched. The operation was almost complete, and it was necessary to perfuse with warm saline. And immediately after that, administer gentamicin. The hero at this moment did not understand why the scale in the system was still not full, although the operation was almost completed. He was afraid that the grade would not be perfect at the end. In any case, he needed to complete the operation, and he set about finishing the job. The greater the number of stitches, the thinner they are and the smaller the wound. This patient was 40 years old, and the nurse asked why the doctor was using this particular technique, Jin Ren wanted everything to be perfect. With joy, the girl exclaimed that his future wife was very lucky. The hero calmly said that such an operation could not be done without such stitches. What the hero did incredibly infuriated Director Liu, but Director Pan asked him to keep quiet. Pan also added that Dr. Jin stuck to his diagnosis and successfully completed the operation, which best shows his ability, but Director Liu did not stop shouting. Turning around, Director Pan said that Liu was spouting too many words, and when Zhen had another opportunity, he would prove to him that this was far from bragging. Zhen Ren's former mentor was even more indignant, but Pan left because the operation was successfully completed and he was going to take his beloved to dinner. Everyone started to leave, the broadcast was not bad, and one of the employees invited Director Liu to come next time. Pan had already met the main character at the exit from the operating room. The guy was also happy when he saw the director. Director Pan thanked the two of them for doing a good job today and invited them to have lunch together and was about to treat them, the hero apologized, he wanted to go to the break room first. The kind director agreed with him, because the guy really should get a good rest, the next operation should not be so stressful. The enthusiastic partner asked the hero if he would have lunch today, but the guy was only going to eat a bun. The kind girl offered the hero a piece of cake, it was clear that she liked it. Walking along the corridor, the hero noticed that the corridor was extremely noisy. He was calm, when suddenly someone called him. They were nurses and they had another emergency and they wanted him to look at something. And he noticed something curious. This was a patient who had had persistent, increasing tinnitus and headaches for the past 22 years. One of the doctors told her to do a CT scan, but it did not reveal anything unusual, given the nature of the pain, the doctor advised her to see a neurologist to check, and she did just that. Other doctors also noticed that something was wrong with this woman, and the doctor also did not know what was wrong. 
Zhen Ren began to make his way through the crowd of people to get closer to the patient. The elderly woman was crying and screaming that her life was so bitter. Suddenly, someone turned to her. I understand that first the patient needs to be reassured, the hero asked what, besides the headache, could bother her. At this point, he also ran diagnostics on the system. The woman screamed and talked about some kind of incurable disease, continuing to cry. Her age was 62 years, her blood pressure was normal, and her diastolic pressure was also normal. A moment later, it dawned on the hero and he realized what the problem was. Having consoled the woman, the guy wanted to help her. When he approached the woman, he immediately asked if she had accidentally inserted dental implants. The nurse at that moment watched the hero and realized that she had really chosen the right person, if she was with him, there would be a lot of successful operations. When asked about dental implants, none of the spectators understood what they had to do with it. The woman admitted that she had actually done one six months ago and asked how he knew, thinking that doctors had told him. People watching thought that it was really the implant, it seemed to them that the doctor was disingenuous, because a woman could not come here and not look at the dentist. One of the people started filming with his phone camera and laughed at the fact that, according to the doctor, the problem was dental implants. After all, the man also had dental implants, but he was completely fine. The noise coming from the crowd greatly irritated Jin Ren, and he decided to explain to people that the patient has two dentures in her mouth made of different materials, which, thanks to saliva, enter into a chemical reaction, when the rod moves, biological fluid is released, which causes a feeling of numbness, headaches and tinnitus. Instantly all the spectators realized what was going on after the hero's explanation. The guy was embarrassed, because it was just a school program. The audience was amazed by the hero's skill, they shouted that the doctor was cool, and let him continue in the same spirit. Pointing out the diagnosis, the hero told the nurse to contact oral surgeons and admit the woman to the hospital. The old lady was happy about this, and she thanked the doctor, and she already felt better. The hero began to leave, when suddenly a girl called out to him. Zhen Ren wanted to take a nap in the restroom, and asked the nurse to finish as well, she was also going to take a good nap at home. He wanted to find out, while at home, whether she could come urgently if there was an operation at night, because the surgery would not wait for her. The girl had everything covered, she lives in a private house near the hospital, and she has a car, the lady can get to the hospital in 10 minutes. The hero knew that she had a wealthy family, but he was surprised that she already had a house in the city center and her own car. Later in the night, another patient arrived, diagnosed with acute appendicitis, and the patient needed to be attended to and surgery scheduled urgently. Immediately calling the girl, he announced that there would be an emergency operation. The girl arrived, the patient's condition was normal, it was necessary to operate on ordinary acute appendicitis, and this was a matter of five minutes, the nurse offered to eat crayfish after the operation because she wanted to treat the hero. Zhen Ren pointed out that the crayfish was too fatty, and the girl suggested that he choose what he would like to eat. The supervising doctor also watched the operation, and was surprised that it would take only five minutes, the hero looked like a peacock who spread his tail in front of a beautiful girl. It was an anesthesiologist who wanted to see how capable a Dr. Zhen Ren was. They began the operation with lightning speed. This amazed the anesthesiologist, because he did not expect such speed from an ordinary doctor. He continued to watch the ongoing operation in amazement. And I was surprised at absolutely every movement that the hero made. Thinking that not even five minutes had passed, and he had already found appendicitis. At that same second, the anesthesiologist admitted that Zhen Ren was a real genius. A moment later the operation was completed and the deletion was completed. The nurse clapped for the doctor and wanted to go have a snack with him. Looking at the timer, the anesthesiologist saw that the hero completed it in 4 minutes 23 seconds. The guy looked at the doctor calmly and was silent. Suddenly he said that if the anesthesia had not been so long, they would have finished earlier. The anesthesiologist was truly outraged by this, and because of this, he considered Zhen Ren to be a complete asshole. Having changed clothes, the hero thought about what the girl offered him. The guy realized that he couldn't refuse her, as if he shouldn't talk about it directly, because she was assisting. But a new message had already arrived on his phone. It was the girl who was waiting for him at the hospital gates. Sighing heavily, he realized that he would have to agree. As he left the hospital, he thought that if he had found out earlier, he would have refused immediately. Continuing to walk along the illuminated street, 
he heard someone calling him. Turning around, he saw something unusual. It was a pink SUV with colorful designs. It was the same cool girl who told Jin Ren to jump into the car. Shocked by what was happening, the hero stood rooted to the spot and could not say anything. He really thought she was just an ordinary nurse. But I remembered how she talked about her opportunities to make money by renting real estate. This amazed the guy, and he wondered if her behavior outside the hospital was really so different. With delight, the girl asked the doctor if he had fastened his seatbelt, because she knew the place where they sold the best crayfish in the city, and would take him there right away. She pressed the gas pedal to the floor with all her might. And with great speed they began to go eat crayfish. Due to the enormous speed, even the smoke from the wheels was visible. She drove so fast that she easily overtook cars on the road. Frightened, the hero shouted at her to drive slower, the crayfish would not be able to escape anywhere. Changing the driving speed, the girl turned to the hero. She wanted to tell her that when she was at school, she often heard gossip about him, everyone tried to understand why he acted so aloof. And this happened because everyone decided that it was all because he was ugly and had little money, Jin Ren was greatly hurt by this. But the girl also added that it turned out that they were wrong, because he was not ugly at all, but simply ugly. These words hurt the hero even more. From the girl's words, the hero seemed to lose consciousness. And at that moment, with tears in her eyes, she shouted out what she was thinking. What kind of work is Dr. Jin the most handsome? With this she calmed the hero a little, and they looked at each other. After that, the hero, as if nothing had happened, looked away from her. For the sake of decency, the guy also asked her to keep an eye on the road. A few minutes later they arrived at an establishment called the Lord of Crayfish. There were a lot of people there, and the girl assumed that Jin Ren would like it here. Everyone already knew the girl in this cafe, because she was a regular visitor, and she ordered two servings of crayfish, one spicy and one regular. Smiling, the lady asked if the doctor could handle spicy foods well. But the guy didn't answer and continued to look somewhere. As it turned out, he was looking at the beautiful twins who were eating in this cafe. The hero was a little embarrassed when he looked at them. Suddenly, he asked the girl to call those twins because he wanted to talk to them. The lady was indignant and shouted that she would not do this, and all the people in the cafe heard it. She didn't want to do this because they had been working well together lately, but he had to decide these kinds of issues on his own. At that moment, she was thinking that men were treating her like a sister. As it turned out, the girl misunderstood him, he was not going to make small talk with them, but wanted to help them. To be more precise, the aunt next to them did not look very healthy. Looking at her aunt, the girl calmed down a little. Confused, she began to ask if he was going to flirt with them, but his goal was only to help. This time the girl will believe him, since this concerns their profession, she will help him. The lady walked up to the twins and greeted them. As I expected from the hero's assistant, she confidently started to complete the task. A few seconds later the girls were already approaching the guy, and they wanted to understand whether he could really cure their mother. Jin Ren introduced himself as soon as they arrived and asked if their mother was suffering from any pain in her jaw area. It was true that one of the twins took her to the doctor last week, who excluded periodontal disease from the list of possible causes of pain and said that it was something neuropathic. The hero immediately realized that she did not have facial neuralgia. And her diagnosis is actually acute myocardial infarction. Their mother's symptoms are consistent with atypical symptoms of acute myocardial infarction. If they don't believe him, they can go to the hospital, have an electronic cardiogram done, and also check their blood pressure and troponin, and then they will see for themselves. Unexpectedly, two girls immediately took his hand. They recognized him immediately and addressed him as Dr. Zhen. The twins were graduate students in the intensive care unit of West China University, and they had some questions for him. And they started a bunch of questions and said that the assumption of a myocardial infarction still needed to be confirmed. The nurse also added that they are better than the students of a prestigious university, and it seems they do not really trust the hero's diagnosis, sighing heavily, the hero did not understand how he could prove anything to people who accept what he was told at the university as the whole truth and have no clinical experience. A moment later, two portions of crayfish were ready. The guy was glad that he was saved, and the girl joyfully began to run, because now they will eat delicious crayfish. The lady wished the twins a good evening, and the hero paid for the crayfish. The twins did not want to say goodbye, and asked to wait because they were not finished yet. When the hero was leaving, 
he turned around and said that crayfish is an allergenic product, it can aggravate the disease a little, so he would not recommend their mother to eat crayfish. At the same time, Director Liu was looking at the recording of the operation. A doctor approached him, who said that he had found two patients with appendicitis in the nearest city hospitals, they were afraid to operate on them despite their critical condition, and they were about to arrive. Lu gloated and looked forward to it. Jin Ren's phone suddenly rang. He immediately accepted the challenge and said he would be there soon. Over the phone, he was told that they would have to have two operations to remove appendicitis. The lady was so happy that they would have surgery to remove appendicitis that she even let her hands go from the steering wheel. And the car immediately started going in the other direction. The arriving patients were urgently taken to the emergency room. Since the dinner was not a success, the girl wanted to treat the hero next time, but the guy understood that it was just a dinner, and the patient was most important. The nurse asked the guy not to worry, and could not keep up with him because he was running incredibly fast. Fortunately, the doctor was on time and arrived as soon as the patient was brought in. The newly arrived patient was 19 years old and had developed appendicitis during pregnancy, and at the 28th week there was already a risk of miscarriage due to pain. The hero immediately turned to Sister Xia so that she would send the patient on a drip to relieve pain, while he was going to contact the clinic, the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. The operation was dangerous, when the uterus is compressed during pregnancy, appendicitis is usually ectopic. The main difficulty lies in pain and at the site of surgery. One of the doctors walked along the corridor and turned to the hero, calling him the great Dr. Zhen, and asked if he had forgotten something here. At this time, the doctor was thinking about why the hero was so nervous, as if he was speechless. Zhen Ren looked at the doctor coldly and told the nurse that they should immediately discuss the operation with a representative from the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Suddenly, someone turned to the doctor. It was the patient's husband, he wanted to know whether the operation was really necessary. The hero wanted to calm him down and said that he had nothing to worry about. The worried husband asked the doctor to protect his unborn son. He literally begged to protect the child, the man was the last of his kind. The guy apologized and removed his hand. After all, he needs to consult with the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. The husband was incredibly alarmed and asked to wait for him while catching up with the doctor. The doctor watching this gloated, appendicitis during pregnancy in the patient's family members being problematic, Dr. Shen was incredibly lucky. Arriving at the patient's room, the doctor understood that there was an obvious threat of termination of pregnancy, and it was necessary to reduce the risks as early as possible. The doctor from the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology said that the operation must be performed as soon as possible to save the child, Shen Ren thought that surgery could not be done without surgery. The next step is to talk to the family members before the operation, and the hero will begin immediate preparations, Lin Xiao Wen expected such a calm reaction in such a situation from the emergency room doctor. Suddenly, the patient's husband bursts into the room and he had one question. The man insisted on performing the operation without anesthesia, because anesthesia could have a negative impact on the child. Lin Xiao Wen was indignant, because she did not understand how such an operation was possible without anesthesia. At this moment, the hero realized that the patient's husband was only concerned about the child's condition, in such a situation, he was really expecting something like this. Well, when this happened, he realized that he had long been accustomed to this, it was Jin Ren's duty to operate to save lives. The man began to argue with the woman that in order to save the child, it was not necessary to do anesthesia, and he insisted on carrying out the operation without anesthesia. But the woman was outraged by the fact that he was worried about the child's life as his own, but did not worry about his wife at all. The hero understood that it was enough to work in the hospital for one day to understand this whole situation, and over time, he became indifferent to everything, because this is the law of this world. Even though it was just a passing thought, he still felt a slight pang of guilt. At that moment, he saw that the force speed seemed to be slightly higher than normal, and it was useless to argue, slowing down the infusion of the four would at least relieve him of the feeling of guilt a little. Suddenly, the patient began to reach out to the doctor. This shocked the hero, and he looked at her in surprise. The woman felt very bad, but was able to say that anesthesia was not needed. That's when he first heard the patient's voice, and she said she could handle it. All his previous judgments crumbled to smithereens, and suddenly, he couldn't stand it. After that, he immediately shouted for everyone to shut up. 
The operation was about to begin, but the doctor thought that he could not go through with it. An anxious woman lay on the operating bed, awaiting surgery. The uneven position of the operating table should have made it easier to find the appendix. The doctor explained to the girl that the appendix and the uterus are located quite close to each other, and after adjusting the angle of the operating table, the uterus moves to the left under the influence of gravity. The threat of miscarriage due to uterine stimulation can be partially circumvented by minimizing mechanical intervention. And at that moment, the doctor was given a lidocaine solution, and he wondered whether it was necessary to administer an anesthetic. With incredible determination, he immediately said to change the needle from 5 mm to 1 mm. The anesthesiologist asked the doctor if this operation was really necessary. He remembered telling his husband that the operation would be performed under local anesthesia so as not to harm the child, and on such conditions the husband agreed to sign the contract. The position of the appendix in a pregnant patient is different from its position in a normal person, as soon as the operation time exceeds the duration of anesthesia, the patient will feel pain, which will lead to contractions. The doctor replied that this is the main problem of treating appendicitis during pregnancy. The anesthesiologist wanted to know whether the hero had thought through everything well, and why he was using local anesthesia, and also, the thinner the syringe needle, the less painful the manipulations for the patient, but the more difficult it would be to administer the anesthetic. The doctor anesthesiologist continued that the anesthetic in such a concentration would be ineffective, but suddenly, Zhen Ren asked to give him a syringe with anesthetic. Zhen wanted to administer the anesthesia himself, if anything went wrong, he would take responsibility. Without saying another word, the anesthesiologist gave him the syringe, and the hero gently administered the anesthesia. Watching what was happening, Director Lu laughed, because how can you operate on a pregnant woman's appendicitis under local anesthesia? Director Pan was indignant because this operation is very important for the doctor and his patient. They should talk less and watch what is happening. There were already more than 1.5 million people on the live broadcast. They were amazed by all the actions that the hero performed, the audience considered him a master of his craft. It was as if he were the god of surgery. The patient's blood pressure, heart rate and respiratory rate were normal, the effect of local anesthesia was very good, and the patient did not feel pain. Watching what was happening, the anesthesiologist did not understand where the hero learned such anesthesia skills. It's like he had talent from birth. The doctor did everything possible to complete the operation successfully. The anesthesiologist also mentioned that this is a multi-layer anesthesia with re-anesthesia before each movement to minimize the risk. The lady was amazed that the hero found the appendix so quickly. The doctor was pleased that the appendix was not perforated, and the inflammation was not pronounced. And fortunately, after a few minutes, they finished. Sighing heavily, everyone was glad that the operation went well. The girl jumped enthusiastically with happiness, and considered Zhen Ren to be a god in reality he was her idol. Sighing with relief, the girl was glad that they got it done quickly, but the doctor told her not to relax because they had another operation ahead. Director Pan noted that this was an ideal operation, and he really has a good understanding of young specialists. The doctor continued to gloat and thought that the hero should not relax, because this was just the first operation. Director Liu sincerely believed that in the next operation, the hero would lose and would not be able to do everything perfectly. The patient was again being prepared for surgery, and it turned out that he was overweight. Pan was shocked that first a pregnant woman had appendicitis, and now an obese patient had appendicitis, this was clearly not an accident. It was not easy to find two such severe cases, but Lu really tried and managed to cope with it, Pan said. But Director Lu believed that this was not his concern, but Dr. Jin's problem. This irritated Director Pan, but he continued to oversee the operation. The patient was a man with a height of 168 centimeters and a weight of 112 kilograms, the thickness of the epidermis was at least 12 centimeters, including adipose tissue. At this point, the nurse also realized that the thickness of the fat layer was too large. At this moment, the doctor confidently told the girl not to be afraid, because as long as there is no liquefaction of fat, this is not a problem. This phenomenon refers to the necrosis of fat granules along the incision and the accumulation of lipid droplets in the cells of the incision to form a pale yellow fluid, which leads to poor healing. In a patient with this degree of obesity, 
the likelihood of fat liquefaction during surgical resection and electroculation to stop bleeding is especially high, and postoperative care will cause a lot of trouble. Unlike traditional open surgery, only an endoscope needs to be inserted into the patient's body, so the doctor can work through an external monitor. In this way, they can reduce tissue damage, thereby facilitating rehabilitation. But as it turned out, the laparoscopic equipment was taken for repair three days ago. Sighing heavily, Zhen Ren realized that everything would not be so smooth, and he could imagine what was happening in the examination room now. Director Pan yelled at Lu and the doctor because they had gone too far, but they started making excuses like the equipment was malfunctioning and it had nothing to do with them. Suddenly, the hero told Director Pan not to worry, because he didn't initially plan to use laparoscopy. The director could not believe it, because then it would be impossible to complete the operation. Even the assistant did not believe what she heard, and wondered if the doctor was really talking seriously, since it was impossible to successfully operate on such a huge patient without laparoscopy. Zhen Ren asked Nurse Xiao Xie if this was her first time encountering such a situation. During the operation, she can smell fried kebabs, but the girl knew this, this was due to the fact that the electric scalp touches the subcutaneous fat. But the girl was still outraged, because she did not believe that it was possible to perform an operation without a laparoscope, the hero assured her that this was just an operation to remove appendicitis. And they should act simply as always. The lady could not believe what she heard, because she did not know whether it was possible to perform the operation in such conditions. The gloating director Lu began to clap, if all doctors were like Dr. Zhen, then the hospital would not have to buy equipment. From that moment on, the broadcast began, as did the operation itself. Experienced doctors began to operate on the problematic patient. Without hesitation, the doctor began to do his job. Making sharp and masterful movements, he surprised all spectators with his speed. Director Liu even thought that the hero wanted to take the patient's life and wanted to stop the operation. But Pan asked Liu Tian to open his eyes and take a closer look, the patient was not in danger, and he thought so because he was simply shocked. As Lu Tian continued to watch the operation, he realized that this was indeed the case. Director Pan at that moment was thinking about what he needed to tell Zhen Ren to be more careful next time, this trick with a scalpel almost gave him a heart attack. The audience was amazed that the hero wielded a scalpel so deftly and was able to continue the operation even despite the fact that the patient was overweight. Suddenly, the heroes took antiseptic to disinfect their hands. At that moment, the girl realized that Dr. Zhen was getting ready. Use something very dangerous and effective. It was a dull finger separation. Lu Tian even stood up in shock, he was outraged that Zhen used such a complex medical trick. The embarrassed lady continued to monitor what was happening. She had a feeling that something was wrong, just like that time. Without stopping, the hero, in turn, continued the operation and used the method of surgical crushing. The people who watched what was happening considered him an unusual god, but the greatest of the gods. It was then that Xiao Xie realized that this was their ninth operation together, and she hoped that she could assist him many, many more times. Each time he continued to shock and delight her, thanks to him she learned more about her profession. All this made her believe that she had not made such a bad choice. Also, at that moment the girl felt that she was still very far from being a hero, but she wanted to carry out every operation with Zhen Ren. From now on, she will not miss a single detail. Meanwhile, the hero has almost completed the operation, and all he had to do was complete the finishing touches. Now, he needed a big curved clamp, and before he said it, the girl had already handed it to him. Xiao after that, she thought that he was very lucky to have a nurse like her assisting him. She was inspired by the doctor's confidence, she knew that she couldn't take a step back, but only forward. Never before had she felt so at ease, as if Zhen was leading her by the hand. Never before had she felt such a thirst for desire. Perform on the same stage with him. The operation was almost over, and people were constantly writing their comments. Many wrote that it was a blind operation, as if God himself had performed it. And the audience wanted to know whether God accepts disciples. Lu sat depressed and didn't know what to say to him. Before the end of the operation, Pan noticed that the operation was almost finished and asked how Lu was feeling. Startled, the disgruntled director muttered that Pan was an old scoundrel. And then, the insidious director looked at the doctor and asked him to say something. Immediately after this, the doctor stood up and shouted that Zhen Ren performed the operation, the appendix has no soul. 
This made director Pan laugh incredibly, and he realized that Dr. Sin remained an idealist, and this was unacceptable for doctors. The directors noticed a moment later that Dr. Shen was preparing biogel. Dr. Sin was shocked that the hero was not going to stitch up the operated man. At the same time, the hero was already preparing to introduce biogel. Biogel contains fibrin and platelet, these are activating components that have the effect of wound coagulation and hemostasis, but it cannot be used in all cases. Immediately after the introduction of biogel, the hero asked for thread number one and a needle. As it turned out, the gel glued the fat layer, and thus the doctor only needed to stitch up the wound. But the nurse also realized that the doctor was using the gel as a gel. The doctor confirmed this, this will eliminate the need for stitches in the fat layer, minimize damage to the small blood vessels in the fat layer and prevent liquefaction of the fat. Viewers were shocked, not realizing how biogel can prevent fat liquefaction. Even the anesthesiologist admitted that Mr. Zhen was a genius, the man could not believe that biogel could be used in this way. The girl was terribly interested in how the doctor realized that this could work. Electrocautery and suturing damaged the blood vessels too much, and liquefying the fat only makes things worse. The operation lasted 11 minutes, and the system indicated that the result was good, to help the patient with excess subcutaneous fat, it is necessary to solve the problem of fat liquefaction. Since the scalper will not help here, you need to use something else, and the hero has already done this a hundred times. Now he is ready to bring his wild idea to life, thanks to training within the system, he has had countless chances for trial and error. As a result, he made many surprising discoveries, including the fact that biogel can fight fat liquefaction. The girl was burning with curiosity, but the hero understood that he could not tell her about the system, and thought about how to explain it differently. And he asked the anesthesiologist and the girl if they had heard about the principle of such solubility. The anesthesiologist knew this, they had learned this in high school, solutions and solutes are similar in structure, and the interaction between their particles leads to dissolution, for example, as is the case with water and ethanol. The biogel operates on a similar principle, the hero said, the proteins contained in the biogel will bind the fat layer, even if the fat dissolves, and recovery after surgery will proceed normally if the wound is not wet and all activity is excluded. As soon as the operation was over, the hero immediately began to run away and said that he was just lucky, but it is worth remembering that there will be nothing surprising in the world for them if they know mathematics, physics and chemistry well. After he left the operating room, the alarm suddenly started, and it was not for training purposes. Not realizing what was happening here, the hero was scared. The hero had a new urgent mission, which was called the hostility of fate, its goal was to complete all operations, the reward was unknown, and the deadline for completion was only one day. A call was heard, it was the doctor's phone. He couldn't believe what he was told on the phone. In fear, the doctor told Director Liu that things were bad. All cases of appendicitis in nearby city hospitals are referred to them, and their numbers continue to grow. Director Liu started yelling at the poor doctor because he thought he was involved in this, but he had no idea how it happened. Slowly, Director Pan began to approach the two scoundrels. He suspected that these two operations were the work of them, and now they would all be in big trouble, and none of them would escape responsibility. The director did not intend to, and understood that first he needed to deal with all the problems. Pan called the head nurse, because they have a large number of patients with appendicitis and they were urgently hospitalized, the nurse needs to quickly help the doctors on duty prepare for the operation and vacate the wards. The emergency room was short of surgeons, and the director turned to yours behind him and ordered them to operate as well. The doctor did not know what to answer and hesitated, because they were from general surgery. Meanwhile, Lu called his wife and said that he had an overnight surgery today, and asked her not to wait for him and go to bed. Patting director Pan on the shoulder, Lu said that it had been a long time since he had been so excited about an upcoming operation, and it was good for him to stretch his arms from time to time. Zhen Ren suddenly told Director Pan to refer all patients to him, because he was going to do all the operations himself. The doctor was outraged by this, and he started screaming because he wanted to understand what kind of hero he was pretending to be at such a moment, he had no idea how many sick people there were, and he would never be able to cope on his own. Pan immediately walked up to the microphone and snatched it from the doctor. 
And after that, he ordered Zhen to work, other medical staff would prepare patients for surgery and postoperative care, if anything happened, the director was ready to replace the hero. The hero smiled and thanked the director. The operation began and the first patient was on the operating table. In an instant, the anesthesiologist had already applied general anesthesia. The doctor removed the appendicitis with lightning speed. And immediately after the end of the operation, the nurse was already transporting the second patient. All manipulations seemed to have turned into habitual and instinctive, and the twentieth patient was already on the count. For the hero, it was just an ordinary night in the hospital, after all the operations, he received a message from the system that the mission of the hostility of fate was completed. Events continued to happen in the morning. A tired nurse walked down the corridor after many operations. The head nurse noticed that Xiao Xie had done a good job. This was the girl's first overnight operation, she was incredibly happy, it turned out that in total they performed 49 operations. Dr. Zhen's endurance was incredible. After a difficult night, he was consoled by the fact that his appendix was completely healed. Having fallen asleep, the hero woke up in another world. In the world of the system where I met the stone fox again. When the guy approached, he wanted to ask the fox what he wanted from him, and didn't he deserve a good rest. The system notified that the task was completed ahead of schedule, and as a reward the hero was given 150 experience points and the opportunity to train in the operating system for 20 days. As it turned out, he was here for a reward, a dream, in this case, it can wait, the hero had another opportunity to train, when he had to cut out his own appendix, he almost vomited. It was strange that the operating room did not appear, as in previous times, perhaps some additional condition needs to be fulfilled, and the skill tree has grown a lot. General surgery skilled points increased from 330 to 1067, night operations were not in vain, first he needs to save the points he earned in case the system does something to be on the safe side. And the hero clicked to use the glasses. From that moment on, the system congratulated him because he successfully unlocked the pro version of the system interface. After inspecting the interface, he also discovered that a store had been opened. It had a lot of items related to medicine, and experience turned out to be a currency, the guy wanted to see what he could buy for himself. The prices for equipment turned out to be huge, literally sky high. Realizing how much he would need to save, he began to be indignant, because he wanted to get everything that was in the store. Severe stress from what he saw overwhelmed him. When he woke up, the hero found himself in his own office, and his phone was ringing. Director Pan called. And he urgently called the hero to come to his office. Literally a few minutes later, the hero was already in place and arrived in the office. Not only Director Pan was waiting for him in the meeting room, and the hero was invited to sit down. The hospital management watched the broadcast yesterday and were very pleased with Shen Ren's work, they thought about it and decided that all subsequent appendicitis surgeries would be sent to the emergency department, so he would have to work hard. Director Liu was indignant and asked Pan not to jump to conclusions. But Pan didn't care anymore, and the decision was made. Knocking on the table, Director Liu wanted to say something. He had one special case here, and the insidious director was sure that Dr. Zhen would like him. And immediately inserted the flash drive into the computer. The patient had ordinary appendicitis, but in three days she will participate in a beauty contest, she hopes that the operation will be carried out so that there is no scar left, management from the city will monitor this case. And since Dr. Zhen doesn't know how to leave scars, this case is perfect for him. But since the Secretary of State considers this operation to be very important, the choice of candidate must be approached responsibly. Moreover, there is one caveat. Dr. Zhen himself had not said a word yet, he had just performed more than 40 surgeries in one night, and it was unknown whether it would be right to schedule him for surgery. Lu began to shout at the hero, because he wanted to hear an answer from him, all doctors should bear witness that if Zhen Ran could perform a non-invasive appendectomy, then Director Lu would immediately resign. Looking at what was happening, Pan thought that he was going to get rid of Zhen Ren by any means, even if it cost him his life, and this operation could not be done without incisions. Realizing this, Director Pan knew that he could not allow him to do this to Zhen Ren. Suddenly, the hero said that if, according to the results of the examination, everything was fine with the patient, then he agreed. Pan began to shout that the doctor was crazy and he should immediately take back his words. The shocked doctors continued to watch what was happening, not realizing whether such an operation was possible. 
And also, they thought that old man Pan was talking nonsense. The gloating Lu said that since Dr. Zhen had already agreed, then they should give him a chance, and he would eagerly wait. After which, he immediately began to leave and laugh loudly. Director Pan and Zhen Ren were the only two left in the office. The man asked the hero how confident he was in the success of the operation, and the guy announced that he was 10%. Not satisfied with this answer, the director was confused, he did not understand whether the hero was serious. But really, the guy meant it. The director immediately interrupted him and said that they believed in him, and he should prepare for the operation. The door immediately slammed behind the director, and he left Shen alone with himself. The guy thanked Director Pan, because if he said he would do it, then he would do it. A new task called an explosive mission appeared in front of him. The goal of the mission was to earn trusted status and meet the expectations, trust of the director, and perform a laparoscopic transrectal appendectomy, the reward would be 30 skill points and 300 experience points, and the completion time was 5 hours. A few minutes later, the hero had already entered the patient's room. She was sleeping in a hospital bed and was all red. And the woman who was sitting next to the girl was closely watching the hero. The guy at that moment was thinking that he had given the patient an analgesic, but the pain still did not go away, and it seems that treatment can no longer be postponed. The woman was indignant because he continued to look at Jean she like a pervert. The lady turned to Director Liu and told him that the competition was in three days, and she wanted to know when the operation would take place, this woman was the girl's agent. The directors asked Miss Chen not to worry, they are here today to introduce her to the chief surgeon. The girl's gaze immediately turned to the doctor. She approached the guy and began to shake his hand, the agent wanted to tell him that they were counting on the doctor very much, as soon as she saw him, she immediately realized how much the director cared about his Jean Shi, and considered the guy to be one of the best doctors for sure. With awkwardness, the doctor replied that he was not the chief surgeon, and the girl will be operated on by a surgeon named Shen Ren, who continued to look at the patient. The agent was outraged because she thought this guy was a pervert and he couldn't be a doctor. The hero introduced himself and said that he was the chief surgeon of the emergency department, the girl at that moment saw that he was quite polite. The lady wanted to know if the chief surgeon was too young for his position. Surprisingly, the director stood up for the guy, he may be a hammer but he is incredibly talented, the man said, and he is 100% confident that Miss Cho's operation will go well, and that is why they assigned him to this operation. Suddenly, the woman announced that they were here to ask not to leave scars after the operation, and if she remembered correctly, doing something like that was not in the competence of Director Liu. The director replied that given the fact that the layer of subcutaneous fat of Mrs. is very small, the conditions are suitable for a regular open operation, if you use a regular incision of 3 to 4 centimeters, the center will get better within a day, and after 5 to 6 days it will completely recover. This angered the woman even more, and she wanted to know if he had figured out a way to avoid scars after the operation. The doctors looked at each other and did not know at all what to answer. The hero spoke and said that if no complications were found during the examination, then he will be able to perform non-invasive surgery. The dissatisfied woman began to scream and wanted to know why the guy decided that he would be able to jump in over his head and do something that the director could not do. After all, she didn't understand what skills one could talk about at 20 years old, and she asked director Lin if he was ready to take responsibility if something happened. Confused, the director replied that the woman must understand that no one can guarantee 100% success of the operation. And since there are no guarantees, they do not agree to this operation. Suddenly, another doctor entered the room and asked who said there were no guarantees. It was Director Pan, and he can give the woman these guarantees, as he just gave them to the management at the hospital and the city administration, and Dr. Zhen will perform this operation. Well, Zhen Ren was delighted, the director really came on time. Surprised, the lady immediately inquired who this elderly gentleman was, it was the head of the emergency department, Mr. Pan, a former military surgeon who was transferred to the department after his retirement. The impudent doctor did not understand what use was Director Pan's guarantee. This confidence was due to military editing, if you are a professional, then you will have more than enough confidence. Pan also added that Director Liu is not qualified enough, and his appendectomy surgery is not nearly as good as Xin Ren's. The insidious man already wanted to start arguing, but could not, and decided to endure the insults. Just yesterday, 
Chen Ren performed 49 operations to remove appendicitis in 16 hours, and all of them went perfectly, when it comes to such operations, the director's ward is the best in the hospital. After thinking about these words, the woman realized that apparently he was really telling the truth. The director also added that Zhen was better not even in the hospital, but in the whole city, no, in the whole country, and since Pan had finished his speech, he wanted to know if anyone still disagreed with the operation. Zhen Ren at that moment realized that thanks to the director, he made it clear to the hero what kind of understanding and trust he was. He will really have to work hard, and try his best. Mr. Pan was indeed right, and the doctor exclaimed that he was 100% sure that he could perform the operation without leaving scars, and he personally guaranteed it. For this operation he is going to use ESD technology. Pan noticed that it seemed that Dr. Lu was not only poor in skills, but also did not understand new technologies, which infuriated Lu even more. But also, Director Pan himself thought that it was worth reading about this technology in his spare time. In this case, the woman asked to pay Dr. Jin more and begin the operation right away. Hearing this, the hero sighed heavily and immediately began to leave. Because they already need to start and perform a new operation with a non-invasive method. In the equipment room, the hero was explained that this equipment was recently installed in the hospital, it is mainly used to remove mucous membranes, no one has used it during an appendectomy. And Director Sher explained that this is why he does not have an intracavitary closure. For non-invasive updoscopy equipment, ESD is currently the most effective option, and the closure is generally irreplaceable, Director Pan fought so hard for the hero, and he couldn't just give up. Zhen Ren understood that he needed to think carefully to quickly find a solution. A moment later he found himself in another world. And I saw that same ESD device, and immediately understood why it was there. The system offered him to buy an item for crypto gold. Well, the system apparently forgot that the hero can't afford it, the device cost 16,000 points, but he has only 2,332 points on his balance. If he could, like all great doctors, or at least like their director, the managers themselves would run after him and would not have to worry about the costs of equipment and consumables, and in this case it was necessary to look for an alternative. Continuing the search, the hero faced many options, and he needed to choose the necessary item. This brought joy to the hero, because it was possible to buy individual pieces of equipment. The endoscopic intracavitary closure cost exactly 2,200 points, and the hero purchased it. The man noticed that the hero was standing immobilized. And he immediately approached him to bring him to his senses. As soon as the guy woke up, he immediately told the director that he had a missing part of the apparatus. And since he has it, Director Sher told him to take the device and leave, since he already has everything he needs. Literally a few minutes later, the hero was already preparing for the operation. One of the nurses asked not to hold a grudge against her, they were asked that most of the staff at this operation be female, so they now have a female anesthesiologist. But Zhen Ren realized that this did not matter, and the main thing was their skills. This amazed the girls, but they also continued to prepare for the operation. The anesthesia was ready and the operation could begin. From this point on, non-invasive appendectomy began. And girls should have a colonoscope inserted for the procedure. The operation began and the hero used a modern apparatus to complete the complex operation with precision. Viewers of the broadcast were shocked that the hero was using an unknown device. The device was so fast that even the female anesthesiologist could not follow its action. At the same moment, the hero realized that he had reached a problem area. The girl was amazed that the hero separated the mucous membrane and connective tissue using separating forceps and a colonoscope. She would understand if a doctor with many years of experience used such a technique, but it was unknown how Jin Ren could know it. During the most complex operation, the hero remained absolutely calm, and after that the girl already wanted to quit. The operation was carried out as if boxing itself, and did not leave a single scar. His hand was incredibly steady and he didn't make a single mistake. As a result, he successfully entered the abdominal cavity and looked through the appendage. Severe swelling of the appendix was noticeable, which was close to perforation. It was necessary to act very slowly so that the appendix did not burst. As soon as I closed my eyes, the girl anesthesiologist almost lost consciousness and thought that the operation had failed. But the operation was successfully completed, and the hero performed at least 100 similar operations in the system. It took him only 9 minutes to complete the operation, 
there is no person in the country who has performed more operations than the hero. After the operation was completed, the hero came to Director Schur to return the equipment. The director was angry because the website on which the live broadcast was broadcast stopped working. He started screaming because the site must support hundreds of thousands of people every second, but for some reason the medical site server cannot do this. Walking down the corridor, the hero realized that he had to report the results to Director Pan and the others, it was not good to keep them waiting. Suddenly, a female agent ran up to the guy and asked why he was here, and if everything was okay with the patient Jean Shi. The slightly worried guy explained that everything was fine, and the operation was successful, and she should have already woken up from the anesthesia. Hearing this, one of the doctors was indignant, because very little time had passed, such an operation could not end so quickly, he thought. A moment later, Miss Chen received a call informing her that the operation had just ended. Everything went smoothly, Jean Shi's condition was stable, and she was transferred back to the ward. The unexpected news made the girl happy, and she ran to the patient. The lady also wanted to clarify how long it would take for rehabilitation, Zhen Ren replied that if it was urgent, then he could discharge her this evening, but he would advise staying here for a couple of days, there is no need to postpone the show, which will take place in three days. Bowing to the doctor, the lady thanked him again and apologized for her rashness. And I thought that this guy, although he looks narrow-minded at first glance, but she never expected that he would turn out to be such an excellent specialist, the longer the woman looked at him, the more pleasing her eyes were. The agent threw down her business card and asked Dr. Chen if he was in Shanghai, otherwise he needed to contact the woman. Suddenly, someone else wanted to see a doctor. It was Director Pan, who happily approached the guy and thanked him. Hiro apologized for making him nervous, and it's good that everything went well. The surgery only took nine minutes and everything went really well. The entire staff thanked the hero, because he saved them from unnecessary headaches and did what he should have done. The doctor decided to check the patient's condition, and left the hero and the directors to chat. Director Lu sighed heavily and was about to leave. Unexpectedly, Pan ordered Lu Tian Xing to stay behind, and I wanted to remind him that they had an agreement. Lu Nia forgot the conversation, and asked Director Pan not to return to this conversation again. Pan understood that it was not worth it, because his words were an empty phrase, they meant nothing, Lu began to make excuses that he said this in a fit of anger and did not want to quit. And since the director did not want to resign, Pan asked him to do something else, and not to forget that they still had not discussed the fact that he had arranged a collection of terminally ill patients from all the surrounding hospitals. The serious director began to explain that the nosy Lu was wrong. The first condition was that in the future all emergency operations related to general surgery would be performed in their department. The second condition, since general surgery will no longer deal with emergency cases, there is more staff there than is required, and Pan will submit a statement to the management about the need to expand the staff of the emergency department. The annoying Lu shouted that he did not agree with this, it seemed to him that Pan wanted his department to be left with only empty benches near the office. But Pan hinted to Lu that he had no right to object. Lu began to make excuses that he was the director of the general surgery department, and the best in Haicheng, Pan asked a counter-question if he was sure of this. This confused the impudent director, and he did not know what to answer. Director Pan shouted and explained that Lu had a disgusting character, terrible diagnosis, useless skills, he was like a dog in the manger, neither to himself nor to people. And after that he still had the audacity to say that he was the best. Pan didn't think so, because Director Lu is a shameless person. And Director Pan had never seen a person as arrogant as Lu. At this turn of events, Director Lu fainted. And Zhen Ren's mission was completed, he received his reward, and was incredibly pleased with himself. The story continued the next morning. The hero entered the hospital, and all the sisters greeted him. As soon as the guy passed, the girl was discussing among themselves that Dr. Chen looks especially good today, at first glance, there is nothing special about him, but his abilities are something incredible. Along the corridor they also discussed that it was difficult to carry out such a number of operations on their own, and there were also rumors that the hero had angered Director Lu from general surgery so much that he had a heart attack. After hearing this, the doctor was immediately called. It was Director Lin, and he called for the hero to come to him. As it turned out, Xiao had already communicated with the twins who had ended up at their hospital for an internship, now they were colleagues, and the next time they were going to eat crayfish together. 
Su Yun also arrived at the hospital. The fact is that Director Pan asked for additional personnel, so they brought him, after which Lin conveyed additional information to Zhen Ren about them. And he asked not to forget to tell Pan that he had brought additional personnel, after which he immediately ran away. Zhen Ren at this time thought that all these personnel looked extremely unreliable, and the twins had already noticed him and began to approach him. The twins began to say that thanks to the doctor last time, they identified their mother's illness in a timely manner, and they were very grateful, the hero wanted to find out from them why they went for an internship in the emergency room. All because they wanted to study with him, that's why they asked to join this department. If Shen remembered correctly, this is not what they studied at the university, and working in the emergency room is not something you can get used to, and besides, their departments do not have intensive care units. What they heard shocked the sisters, they clearly did not expect to hear this. Zhen Ren was not surprised that Director Lin ran away so quickly, it was just a scam. The guy recommended that the twins be transferred to another department, because there is no need for inexperienced resuscitators in the emergency department. With sadness in her voice, one of the twins said that they wanted to stay. Their argument was that they could take the position of an anesthesiologist. The hero also asked them if they could come here in the middle of the night, but this was not a problem for them. The doctor delighted the girls and said that they could try themselves as an anesthesiologist, and they were extremely happy. As soon as Jin finished with the girls, another guy immediately approached him. He wanted to introduce himself to the doctor. Not wanting to listen to him, Jin said that everyone in the hospital knew his name, and the hero was more interested in why he was in the emergency room. It so happened that Ding Fu was his mentor, so he was transferred to the emergency room, moreover, Director Pan had already given his consent for the guy to work here. Zhen Ren didn't quite understand why Director Pan agreed to this, and the guy replied that he would be only too glad, because he would not only operate with the hero, but also, he will solve other problems of the department. Their department probably didn't have enough nurses, the guy concluded. But this shouldn't happen in an emergency room. Zhen looked at the guy with displeasure and said that he could also try to work here. The last girl was Chang Yu, and she looked very calm, but the hero was unsure of her professionalism. Previously, the girl spent an internship in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, and then switched to medical work under the supervision of Director Lin, it was Director Lin who brought her here. At that moment the guy became interested in why the girl was transferred from obstetrics to general medicine. After asking the question, the girl simply stood and was silent. The hero sighed heavily and realized that it would be very difficult with these four. The girl on the left had no special skills, the guy was a narcissist, and the two twins were still inexperienced. Nurse Xiao suddenly walked up to the doctor and told him in his ear that Chang Yu's ability was needed in their department. When Jin asked why this was so, the nurse said that he should wait, and soon he would find out about everything himself. The newly arrived employees began to walk down the corridor. All the nurses who previously worked here immediately paid attention to them. Watching the newcomers, they were amazed by the beauty of Dr. Su and the twins, they stood out from the background of the old doctors. The indignant hero at that moment thought that he did not expect that he would have to come to the hospital. In one night, he performed more than 40 operations, completely ignoring the patient's family members, and he already imagines this picture. But they need to get to work. As soon as the door of the room opened, the eyes of the people immediately turned to the doctor. And then he realized that it was all over, and this was the end. Suddenly, someone quickly overtook the hero. It was Xiao Chang, who got along well with patients and interacted with everyone who was in the hospital. Even the little boy called her because he was very itchy early on. The girl stroked the boy's head and told him that itching is normal, it means that the wound is healing successfully. The girl also added that the guy should be patient and not touch the wound, and then he will recover faster. The observing doctors were extremely stunned by what was happening, there was an incredible contrast in her behavior. After all, Xiao Chang was close to her patients, they were crazy about her. Zhen Ren looked after the girl, it was not only that they were close, but it would remind them all of their names, but it would remind them of when the operation was performed and what kind of operation it was, but it is unknown how. Xiao explained that this is how she really is, she loves to communicate with them, she said that such communication helps improve relationships with patients and their family members, like some kind of psychotherapy. Some, this therapeutic conversation helps to involve the patient's loved ones in the treatment process, and accordingly, the patient recovers faster. 
Nurse Xiao also heard about the reason why Director Lin transferred her from the obstetrics department to the hospital, and knows why she does not want to answer this question. The fact is that when Chang Yu was a resident in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, one of the patients had problems after a miscarriage, her lover accompanied her to the hospital, and then her husband appeared. It was terrible, he had a knife with him, and everyone guessed what happened next. The husband took the life of his wife, and everyone was in shock, and at that moment one person decided to stop the killer, it was Chang Yu. She spoke with the patient's husband before police arrived. He did not resist, cried throughout the conversation, and then he asked the police to handcuff him. The twins didn't think she was so strong, this girl is a real hero. No one could even think that she was a brilliant psychologist. The guy was shocked and couldn't believe that something like that could happen. On the day of the crime, a pregnant woman was so scared that she had a miscarriage, her family sued the hospital and demanded compensation in the amount of one million. Chang Yu was the doctor on duty that day, she managed to resolve the situation, but she was suspended for six months, after that incident she could no longer remain in the obstetrics and gynecology department, so she asked for a transfer. So she told Director Lin that she no longer wanted to operate, but just wanted to become a good specialist, see patients and communicate with them. Xiao thought that Chang Yu was perfect for their squad and wanted her to stay. Zhen Ren responded that she has experience communicating with patients, but the emergency department needs more than a doctor who is tongue-tied, other skills also matter. The indignant nurse showed the hero that the girl had only agreed to the transfer yesterday and immediately got to work. She filled out documentation of all the operations that Zhen had performed previously, each card contained at least 500 words, 49 operations were performed. Everything was recorded in the journal, thanks to the fact that the records were provided so quickly, the patient's families feel calmer. Zhen Ren admitted that from the outside it may look simple, but each sentence is written neatly, without any confusion or errors, it is like a sample from educational literature. After everything he saw and heard, Zhen concluded that Chang Yu was a perfect fit for the team, and she should stay. The girl heard this and immediately smiled. Everyone was overjoyed that Chang Yu was accepted into their team, and the emergency department assembled its first team. A guy approached the hero, and he noticed that the doctor was wandering along the corridor, and he was interested in whether he was getting ready for work or training. Jin examined the chambers, because this is also part of his duties, and then asked what the guy was doing here. Watching this newcomer, Jin had the feeling that there was a peacock standing behind him. The guy admitted that he was free for now, the girl with glasses and the nurse didn't care about him, so he thought that if he followed Jen, he could learn something. The doctor knew that the guy had been in the hospital for several days, so he would be able to come up with something to do for himself, and ordered him not to pursue anyone else. But the guy continued to insist on his own, and he wanted the doctor to teach him. After all, he must be quite experienced in small operations like appendectomy. Jen was a little stunned when he heard this, because the arrogant guy even used the word experience to make a compliment. Because of this, the main character immediately fell silent. As it turned out, at that moment he was staring at the girl. And immediately Jean asked the guy if he could guess what was wrong with the girl. With indifference, the guy looked at the hero and thought that he was joking. But it looks like the doctor was serious. The guy did not notice anything unusual, and it was necessary to examine the girl, but the doctor paid attention to her shoulder, it looked red and swollen. This was indeed the case, even if just a little. At this moment, the guy wanted to know what Dr. Zhen's diagnosis was. After just one look at the girl, the doctor concluded that it was endometriosis. The pink-haired boy couldn't believe it, and still thought it was a joke. The guy at that moment was thinking that there was no need to put on such a serious face, because he didn't even know anything about endometriosis. A disease directly related to the uterus and the cycle, endometriosis occurs when cells in the lining of the uterus grow beyond the uterus. All this can indeed quickly spread to other places, such as the abdominal cavity, colon, but the guy has never heard of it reaching the shoulders. But still, I wasn't sure if Zhen was joking. This form is very rare, but purely theoretically, it is possible, but the doctor mentioned that this is a fairly common disease and the treatment is very simple, the guy just needs to deal with the hyperplasia. Having trusted the girl's attraction, the hero patted the guy on the shoulder and trusted him to communicate with the patient, because here he has a clear advantage. As soon as the doctor started to leave, the guy shouted after him, asking what he meant by advantage. Zhen continued walking, and realized that if he talked, it would be more useful, or at least he would check it. 
the guy will have to face the horrors of this world. The abandoned Su Yun was embarrassed and did not understand how the girl could say that if she did not do this, it would be very bad. Suddenly, Chang Yu came up behind her and was about to go to the girl and tell her about it. Su Yun was scared and didn't understand when she managed to approach, as if she was walking silently, Chan was just passing by and had no intention of eavesdropping on this conversation. The naive guy decided that it was just a patient, and he dealt with it himself, because he considers himself a professional. Turning around, the girl told him that he should look at himself in the mirror first. Su seemed to be burning with shame, there was redness on his face, and his gaze was frightened. This made him feel even more ashamed. Despite the guy's request, the girl still approached the patient to inform her about the diagnosis. The kind Chang Yu was easily able to explain to the girl what was happening to her. The lady thanked the doctor and said that she would definitely undergo a course of treatment, and if she had any questions, she could also safely contact Chan. This girl was truly a genius of rhetoric, and a goddess of negotiations. Immediately after she did everything for the guy, she immediately turned around to look at his reaction. The embarrassed guy nevertheless admitted that he was now in debt to the girl. Late at night, the hero thought that it was true that he had been performing operations to remove appendicitis all the time, and had completely given up studying other types of operations. Having fallen asleep, the hero again found himself in another world. He came to this world in order to receive a reward. Before this, he first needs to select the desired skill branch. The direction was still general surgery, first he needs to exclude operations that are not so common in the emergency department, their department is getting better and better, and thinks that in the next couple of years they can become the best in the city. The hero was thinking about which skill to choose, acute cholecystitis and liver rupture are often found in their department, acute intestinal obstruction and gastric perforation are also quite common. Jin wanted to ask the system what it would offer him. The guy no longer expected the system to answer him. Suddenly, he heard a hiss and saw a bright light. A bright light shone directly above the stone fox, the guy was happy because finally this thing was working. The system rarely responds, so he simply decided to choose the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. The system received the request and entered the operating room. Training of the hypotabellar and pancreas glands has begun. First, the hero should start with a simpler open cholecystectomy. From an anatomical point of view, cholecystectomy is much more complex than appendectomy, the gallbladder is located below the liver and is mainly connected by the gland and artery, in the compartment of adherent tissue around the gallbladder. If the cut is not clear, it can hit the gallbladder, and cause dire consequences. The last time he encountered a cholecystectomy, if his memory served him correctly, was during his final exam. Since then he has only studied it superficially. After work, in the general surgery department, he simply observed the operation. But this is his first time encountering a cholecystectomy, but it's no big deal, there are some minor drawbacks, and after the first operation he would have given himself a score of 80. When the test was over, the guy didn't even notice how 20 days of operations had passed. Now he was already doing an excellent job, and he needed to be challenged with a more difficult case. Even though time stood still in the operating room, a strange feeling of tension did not leave him, the countdown was over, but he was completely dissatisfied with the result, and he needed a little more time. Suddenly, the hero opened the function of purchasing training, and a new privilege was opened. He immediately wanted to add another four hours to practice. Training in hepatobiliary and pancreatic surgery cost 3,600 points per hour, roughly speaking, one experience point per second, and for the same amount you can buy a set of instruments. But the guy was not very familiar with this type of operation, and buying time for them now is pointless, it is better for him to focus on improving the cholecystectomy operation, because experience is worth spending wisely. Since the start of training, the general surgery skill has increased by 1360 points. Having looked at all the skills, he realized that the skills he had acquired were also typical for another type of operation, if the points for it increased, they would also become higher in other categories. At that moment, a pop-up window appeared in front of the hero with a limited offer, if he purchases training time in interventional surgery, he will receive a protective suit as a gift. Pay attention to this detail, the hero was surprised, as if the system read his thoughts. But he also understood that he couldn't get anything free for nothing, and this must be some kind of trap. And immediately after that, Jin decided to go to bed. As soon as he disappeared, an unknown girl appeared. 
It made her laugh that the guy didn't accept the offer because she thought he would regret it. Back in the real world, his operation success rate is now at least 80 points. Some time later, the guy came to Director Pan, and he asked him what he thought about the newcomers who had recently arrived at the department. With a calm expression on his face, the hero replied that they were really good guys. The hero was interested in one more detail, about Su Yun. He wanted to know what Director Pan thought of Su Yun. The director believed that Su Yun was a gem whose presence in the emergency department would benefit everyone, and the hero had nothing to worry about, Shen knew that he was called the rising star of cardiology, if this was true, then why exactly did he come to this department? Zhen was confused by the fact that when he asked him about this earlier, he avoided answering. And he really didn't think that he came here because he liked the emergency room. Director Pan heard that Su Yun made this decision on his own, and even quarreled with Director Fu over it. Pan asked if the hero knew why Su Yun was called the rising star of cardiothoracic surgery, Zhen didn't know it, but he definitely wanted to know. When he was a graduate student at Union Hospital, he became interested in cardiothoracic and began studying it independently. He used stem cells from mice to grow the heart and then perform the transplant. The experiment was very successful, the mice lived for 40 days after the operation. Zhen admitted that cloning stem cells with further transplantation is a very bold step. In addition, their lifespan was 40 days for a reason. The fact is that on the 40th day the mouse simply escaped through the only hole in the cage, which is why the documents indicate 40 days. The doctor immediately realized that the health of this mouse was incredibly well preserved after such a complex operation. But since the results were so phenomenal, the hero wanted to know why he left there and transferred to this hospital. The director just sighed heavily. There was a reason why he couldn't talk about it, but Pan assures the hero that the guy is an excellent doctor, and in the future he will definitely become a reliable support. A little surprised, the guy agreed with the director. Pan asked the hero what his future plans were after the reform of the department. At the moment, he wanted to focus on two types of surgery, appendicitis and cholecystitis, Pan agreed, because it was right to start with simple operations, and in small steps get to the top. If the hero still has some unresolved questions, they can solve them now, the sooner he asks them, the sooner it will be possible to find a solution, the director said. The hero immediately asked if they had an interventional surgery department in the hospital, and also, he needed equipment. There was such a department, when the building was designed, a special office was allocated on the third floor, which was used for interventional operations, but it was not fully equipped. The doctor was happy about this, because this way he could practice. And he asked whether the system counted this. Since the hero was going to carry out intervention operations in the future, he asked the director to prepare the equipment in advance, but the man replied that these were trifles, and he would transfer this information to the appropriate department. Admiring the guy, the director said that the creation of an emergency operating room was his decision. The system showed the guy a new task, it was that he needed to build an emergency operating room, the content of the mission was to perform five cholecystectomies in the emergency department. Seeing this task, the hero immediately guessed that the time had come. Bowing to the wise director, the guy understood that he could not let Mr. Pan down. Suddenly, Honey Xiao came in and announced that the patients had arrived. Wishing the hero good luck, the director added that this was their first patient in the emergency department. The excited guy slowly made his way into the office. He was met by a man who was delighted to see the doctor and asked the doctor to save his father. The doctor began to carry out diagnostics as soon as he saw the patient, pressing his fingers on the chest, the man was in severe pain. Having used the system for diagnosis, he realized that it was chronic cholecystitis. Jin immediately began asking his son if the patient had eaten anything unusual recently, but the son replied that he and his father usually eat the same thing. Well, as it turns out, last week he was late at work and didn't have time to cook anything, and his father ate some tomatoes for dinner. The doctor immediately asked in what form the father ate these tomatoes. The tomatoes were eaten raw. Thinking about the diagnosis, the hero realized that it was probably because he didn't even wash them. With horror, his son realized this too. The elderly man must have been poisoned by pesticides, which caused acute toxic damage to the liver, there is a possibility that all this accumulated in the pits of the gallbladder, thereby it would gradually penetrate into the gallbladder itself which can lead to acute cholecystitis, the health of older people is much weaker than younger people, and after about a week the attack can recur. 
The hero turned to Chang Yu so that she urgently performed an emergency ultrasound on the patient. It is also necessary to install a gastric tube in the patient to examine the gastrointestinal tract, and then wait for the results of the examination. The size of the gallbladder was normal, the pressure was clearly exceeded, the intestinal walls were uneven, the ultrasound reflection in this area was not accurate, the intramural transmission was poor, this should not be the case, the doctor said. After the examination, acute cholecystitis was confirmed, the results of the examination confirmed this, the son wanted to know what the treatment would be. The treatment consisted of a cholecystectomy, which left my son in shock. He was worried and thought it was too dangerous, surgery was quite dangerous. But the doctor wanted to console him, because if the problem is solved at the root, it will not develop into chronic cholecystitis, and unfortunately, antibiotic treatment in this case is not the most suitable option. This is just a minor operation on the gallbladder, and there is no need to be afraid of it, Jean clarified. The patient's heart rate is normal, and there are no contraindications for surgery, the doctor ordered the patient to be prepared for surgery and taken to the operating room on the third floor. Nurse Xiao was surprised when she heard that the patient needed to be taken to the third floor. The doctor confirmed the need, since this is their own operating room in the emergency department. Recalling the director's words, he said that when the emergency department building was designed, quite a few operating rooms were built on the third floor, this spacious and well-equipped operating room is one of the best in China. In one of the operating rooms on the third floor there is an interventional catheterization room, where you can not only perform examination procedures, but also perform operations. What he heard made the hero very happy, because this operating room was truly universal. Meanwhile, Director Liu was discussing with the doctor whether Zhen Ren was ready for this kind of surgery, the man did not remember him doing anything like that. This was indeed true and the doctor confirmed this, when he was in the general surgery department, he had never done a cholecystectomy, let alone the more complex laparoscopic cholecystectomy. What he heard made the director laugh, having studied a couple of techniques, the young doctors think that there is no one better than them, without worrying about anything at all. In anticipation of failure, the director thought that he really didn't know, that the success of the operation depends only on you. Jen understood that it just so happened that the entire philosophy of surgery was contained in this phrase. This is why he was so confident of success, thanks to training within the system, he gained the ability to perform a laparoscopic cholecystectomy in 10 minutes. Before the start of the operation, we are transported to the events that Ping Jia talks about. He is responsible for the largest live streaming platform in the medical field, and the number of users has continued to grow since the platform's inception. And recently the number of online users exceeded 20,000, which is the maximum recorded figure, but despite this, there were some moments. A few days ago, the site stopped working, Ping Jia was extremely angry, and wanted to find out what was happening, because their company was suffering losses, the reason was that the number of online viewers in one of the unpopular broadcasts was too large, this caused the server to overheat and the system crashed. The enterprising man immediately wanted to find out what kind of broadcast this was, because usually only big names in the field of medicine are able to attract only viewers. The director ordered to immediately deal with the server, and do everything that was needed, money was not a problem. The man simply did not give up, the more visits, the more popular the site, but he is not so easy to catch for some nonsense, if he finds out that someone is using dirty methods to attract traffic, he will send him to a 10-year ban. With the new server, the site's potential online concurrent users has increased to 1 million. And the number of regular users has increased from 10,000 to 100,000, this should definitely attract a large number of famous doctors and professors. Which, in turn, will attract more investment in a year, or maybe six months. A terrible squeak was heard from the server again. It was overloaded, the server could not handle such a large number of visitors. The employee began to report to Director Peng that the server had just crashed again, but thanks to their timely intervention, the broadcasts returned to their previous course, only one issue was still not resolved. The problem was that Zhen Ren had 14,896 subscribers, and his popularity increased with each stream, and the constant number of viewers was around 39,000. The director was indignant because he thought that this person was deliberately interfering with the server's work. His anger knew no bounds, because the new server again almost broke due to this live broadcast. Suddenly, Director Peng's phone rang, it was Professor Gu. 
the professor wanted to know what the director was doing and why the server was not working. The man begged the professor not to worry, because they were already solving this problem. Professor Gu was also calling on the other line and asked to answer the phone. On the phone, the man shouted that if the broadcast was not quickly restored in a minute, he would cancel his subscription. Confused, the director thought that one of them, Professor Gu, was from Shanghai Central Hospital, and the other was from Xieha Hospital, and it turned out that they were both watching the same broadcast, which is led by the same person. The audience continued to watch Dr. Zhen's excellent work with delight. Commentators discussed that the situation was quite confusing, even with his level of skill it would be very difficult and the operation would take at least an hour. With pleasure, Director Lu also joined in watching the broadcast. Lu thought that youth are still youth, and it is commendable that he tries to cope with difficulties, but today will be their day. And if he fails the operation, then collapse awaits him. The operation had already begun, and the patient's son was called and asked if he was sure that this doctor was capable of performing such a complex operation, the chief surgeon inspired confidence, and there should be no problems, the man thought. But over the phone, he was told that there were no surgeons in the Haiching hospital capable of performing such an operation, and only their hospital had them, so the operation could go down the drain. After the phone call, the patient's son was extremely agitated and angry, because he thought that they wanted to deceive him. And he began to look at the door of the operating room, as if he wanted to enter there. As Lu watched the operation, he thought something crazy was happening. The spike was too serious, the optimal solution in this case was laparotomy. He doubted the hero, and thought that if his skills were slightly above average, he was still not capable of performing such a complex operation. Based on past operations, Lu could agree that there was something special about him, but no matter how talented the doctor was, once he made a mistake, everything would be in vain. The truth is that you can't live by talking alone, and the director wanted to teach Chen a lesson. And the man called Xiao Wang and said that he has a doctor under his command, and he hopes for someone's help, but does not take into account the opinion of senior experienced colleagues at all. After which, he said that this doctor was now performing an operation, the complexity of which was very far from his real abilities, and Lu asked Xiao Wang to tell him whether this was a disregard for human life. The malicious director believed that such a thing should not be allowed to get away with, no one would dare turn to them for help after this, and they needed to return the bright name of the hospital. The director thanked him for his support, and if Xiao Wang needed any details, he could call. Lu did this because he believed that doctors like Chen Ren should be publicly disgraced. But this should not happen again in the future. Due to the fact that Dr. Xiao Sen did not answer the man, he asked him why he was pretending to be deaf. He didn't answer him because he was watching the broadcast on TV very closely. Turning his attention to the TV screen, Lu saw that Zhen was performing the operation at an excellent pace, and the division was completed, he had already moved on to the resection. Unwavering, Zhen Ren continued the operation despite others' doubts about his competence. After all, his actions are worthy of mention in medical textbooks. Director Liu knew he shouldn't be nervous, he closed his eyes and asked the doctor if the operation was successful. After a moment, the doctor stammered and replied that the operation was successful, and it only took three minutes. Hearing this, the director wondered if Zhen Ren was human. Zhen Ren's work speed requires synergy with his assistant, if she doesn't keep up, visibility will be distorted. And this will greatly complicate the work of the chief surgeon, only Zhen Ren is visible on the screen, and the director wanted to understand who is holding the mirror. Literally a second later, Nurse Xiao also entered the frame. The same nurse who knew nothing a couple of weeks ago has turned into a real gem. A moment later, the operation was completed successfully, and the system gave a score of 100 points for the work performed. On leaving the operating room, Dr. Zhen was greeted by the patient's son. Not knowing how the operation went, the man began to ask if the doctor was leaving because the operation was going badly and a laparotomy needed to be done, but Zhen, without losing his calm, said that the operation was successful. The man's surprise knew no bounds, he wanted to know if this was not a very difficult operation, since less than 10 minutes had passed. As he was leaving, the doctor asked the man what the connection was between the high complexity and the duration of the operation. Turning around, Zhen also asked if the son wanted to keep his father's gallbladder as a souvenir. Meanwhile, Meng Zi was standing in the corridor, and his mother was texting him. She wanted to tell him that his uncle was sick, yesterday he met with old colleagues, drank a little, 
and when he returned home, he felt a pain in his stomach, in addition, his skin turned yellow, his mother was now going to take his uncle to the first city hospital. The doctor immediately realized that the symptoms were similar to acute obstructive cholangitis, and he needed to be operated on immediately. But the question was who would perform this operation, if it were a regular cholecystectomy, the doctor is sure that he would have managed it himself, but this is an obstruction of the cystic duct, and there is a possibility of complications such as acute pancreatitis. The guy realized that he should find another specialist in general surgery, and there is no one who would be better than him in such operations. The only one who was better was Jin Ren. Worried about his uncle, he understood that most likely he would have to ask for help. Looking at his uncle's photograph, memories immediately arose. The guy remembered how, when he was little, he sat with his mother and uncle, and they had dinner. His uncle was so close to him that he and his mother accompanied him to the medical university. And the guy was incredibly grateful to his mother for what she did for him. Yi Zhenren previously said that he decided to switch to part-time work in order to combine studies with work, but his mother believed that there could be no work without education. His mother begged him to study diligently, and they were going to provide him with money. Unfortunately, the guy didn't listen to them, and here he is, working in the hospital. Thoughtfully watching the scenery from the hospital window, he finally decided to call his mother and wanted to reassure her. Events continued to occur in the emergency room. Tired Jin walked down the corridor with huge bags under his eyes. While watching the hero, the nurses also wondered what happened to the doctor. As it turned out, since the operating room in the emergency department opened, he spends 24 hours a day doing nothing but operating or going towards the operating room to perform an operation, he even volunteered to spend 24 hours a day in the hospital. Sitting in his office, Diar, Jin tried to rest at least a little, he performed so many operations because he had a long-term assignment. The content of the task was for him to become the best surgeon, there was a long way ahead of him, after completing every 10 operations, he would receive system rewards depending on the complexity of the operation and the level of completion, this task is not interconnected with others. Over the past three days, he has performed quite a few cholecystectomies, seven or eight appendectomy operations, and he has already completed the main mission twice. As a result, he had accumulated a huge amount of experience, and the guy was wondering what he could buy with it. A moment later, the hero already received a call on his mobile phone. It was Nurse Xiao who notified the guy that they had an emergency patient and he was brought in by ambulance. The tired guy immediately got up from his chair and said that he would come right away. Walking down the corridor, Shen also notified Dr. Chang that an urgent patient had arrived. Arriving at the patient, the hero saw that he was already being examined. Based on the ultrasound, it looked like a blocked bile duct. Zhen understood that in 9 out of 10 cases this is an indicator of acute obstructive purulent cholangitis. But just in case, he decided to use system diagnostics. What he saw with the help of diagnostics horrified him. The hero immediately shouted that the patient must be operated on immediately, because the patient was diagnosed with acute obstructive purulent cholangitis. The system indicated an emergency mission, he needed to defeat the enemy, the guy was surprised, the reward this time was too big, and he did not understand why the system was so generous. The doctor shouted that the patient had been diagnosed with acute obstructive purulent cholangitis, and urgent surgical intervention was required, he needed to be given an four, a gastric tube and a urinary catheter installed, as well as preoperative preparation. In turn, he also told Chang Yu to talk to the patient's family before the operation. The patient was urgently taken to the operating room. Meng Zi also approached the operating room and saw his mother standing next to it. The lady didn't understand why the guy was here, he explained that there was a slight disagreement between him and Dr. Chen, so he decided not to hang around here again before the operation. The mother was outraged to the extreme, she did not understand what disagreements there could be, and why he did not tell her to ask Meng Zi to operate on her uncle. The guy tried to defend his point of view and said that even if there were disagreements between them, he had no complaints about his skills. The woman saw that Jin looked young and wanted to know how good he was, if she had known earlier, she would have advocated for Meng Zi to perform the operation, but the guy replied that Dr. Chen is the best in their hospital when it comes to hepatobiliary surgery. And when the guy put in a little more effort, he said that Dr. Chen was doing a much better job than him. Meng Zi assured his mother that it would only be better if Chen Ren operated on his uncle. 
With longing in his eyes, the guy continued to look into his mother's eyes. He never would have thought that he will ever admit that he is not as good as Shenren. Meanwhile, the operation had almost begun, and the hero was thinking that acute obstructive purulent cholangitis was twice as difficult to operate as other cases related to the gallbladder. This patient had more than just stones. In order for the operation to go perfectly, it is necessary to use special tools, but he can only buy them in the system. At the same time, events began to occur in Director Peng's office. An employee ran to the director and notified Mr. Pan that the strange account had started broadcasting again. The director began to closely monitor the broadcast to understand whether the audience was alive. Peng also wanted workers to geolocate where the broadcast was coming from. Watching what was happening, he was tormented by the question of who this surgeon was. The operation continued, the twins were present, who were interested in why Dr. Su was not here, because in such an operation the help of a specialist would obviously be needed. After joking with Dr. Zhen, they wanted him to say their names correctly, and then they would help him. Zhen Ren firmly replied that he did not need assistance. A moment later the guy picked up something unusual. It was a sterile preoperative bag. From this moment, the operation begins. There were a huge number of stones in the gallbladder, but this did not stop the hero at all. Intuitively, Zhen Ren continued to carry out the operation based on his experience gained in the system. The spectators were delighted, the gallbladder was removed, and they thought there would be at least three or five stones there. The observing doctors were also amazed by the hero's skill, the perfect execution of operations amazed them, they considered it an innate talent. Intuitively, Nurse Xiao understood the doctor. As soon as he extended his hand to receive the necessary instrument for the operation, she gave it to him with lightning speed, without words or doubts. After removing the gallstones, the hero asked Dr. Chu Yen Ji to help him open this sterile package, after which, he handed it into the hands of the girl. The lady immediately asked where the package came from, the guy said that he brought it, but the girl trusted him. Nurse Xiao watched as one of the twins helped the guy. As soon as the girl started reaching for the endoscope, Chu Yen Ji had already handed it over to Zhen Ren. This made the girl jealous, she looked at the hero in embarrassment, and did not understand why he did not ask her to help. What they saw during the operation shocked the twins. They turned to the nurse to ask if she was not the least bit worried. Without a doubt, the girl replied that she trusted Dr. Zhen. From that moment on, the twins realized. It seems that when these two stand next to each other, a special field of energy arises between them, into which others should not interfere. While watching the operation, the twins began to think that Dr. Zhen would not succeed. These parasites are abundant throughout the body, they bite tightly into the flesh, penetrating into it with suction cups, including in the inner lining of the bile duct leading to the gallbladder, if they are pulled out in this way, damage cannot be avoided. If the damage is too severe, complications such as infection after surgery cannot be avoided at all, and Dr. Zhen cannot help but be aware of these consequences. The hero began to get the parasites, and the first parasite suction cups tore. But he was able to pull it out in such a way that he got it out intact, as if he had not been pulled out, but had gotten out himself. Looking closely, the twins clearly did not expect that the hero would be able to pull out the parasite, but there were still a lot of them. The audience sincerely believed that perhaps he was the trainer who raised these parasites. With delight, the twins realized that Dr. Jen had demonstrated a completely new technique. And they wanted to call it something like Jin style extraction of parasites from the bile ducts. And if a doctor writes a scientific article about this method, it will definitely cause a sensation. The events took place in one of the doctor's offices. Meng Zi was very worried about his uncle, the operation lasted more than an hour, his mother had not called him yet, was the operation not over yet? He understood that this operation, with his skills, should not have taken so long. At this moment, Meng Zi thought that Zhen Ren knew that this was his uncle and was doing this on purpose. In order to calm himself down a little, the guy called one of the doctors to find out if the operation was over. What he heard shocked him even more, the operation was still going on, and his mother was standing at the door to the operating room. After which, the guy turned to the anesthesiologist and asked him to check what was there, because Meng Zi was afraid that something had gone wrong. A moment later, a message arrived on the guy's phone. It stated that it was parasitic jaundice. From that moment on, the guy realized that it was good when Zhen Ren started the operation, if someone else had been in his place, the operation would have failed long ago. 
this calmed him down at least a little, and the guy breathed a sigh of relief. The doctors watching what was happening admired him and said frankly that his operations were a real work of art, and many realized that they were not even close to his skills. The doctors continued to observe and learn through Jean Ren's skill. Events continue to take place in the office, which is responsible for live broadcasts in the medical field. Director Peng continued to be indignant, and asked the staff to look more carefully to find out the location for him from the broadcast. If he finds out who is behind this account, he can contact him, and when the time comes, enter into an exclusive agreement. After all, he has the first platform that brings together specialists in the field of medicine. This will be a real breakthrough, there will be no end to sponsors. And the director's dream practically became a reality. Excited programmers continued to search for a doctor by geolocation. But suddenly, a warning appeared on their computers. They didn't immediately guess what it was. It was discovered that a virus had entered their system. The director called out to all the programmers to quickly protect the data. They were unable to do this, and everything was unsuccessful. Suddenly, the spotlight began to work on its own. And then, it turned on completely and began to show the image. The excited director turned around to see what would be in the image. It indicated that there was no need to monitor this broadcast. In a stupor, the director continued to look at the image, and did not understand what the hell happened here. Events continued after the successful operation. Zhen Ren asked the nurse when she managed to create a general chat, the girls had to add girls because of the operation, and in the future they will be able to use this conversation as a work one. The twins discussed that after two pallets of parasites, only crayfish could console them. Xiao also asked the hero to come with her because she had not eaten crayfish for a very long time. Zhen Ren decided to please her and said that if she could get ready quickly, they would go. Walking into the room, the hero discovered something interesting. Arriving at the patient, he found the doctor sitting next to him. The doctor immediately began to walk towards Shen. The worried doctors watched each other and stared intently. Suddenly, the doctor bowed to Zhen Ren as a sign of gratitude. The guy fell into a stupor. He clearly did not expect such a turn of events. This situation caused embarrassment for the grateful doctor, but he understood that this should be done as a sign of gratitude. At that moment, Jin realized that it turned out that he was that same opponent. In the evening, events continued to happen in the cafe. Everyone was assembled and came to eat crayfish. The two guys stared at each other. Jin wanted to know why the other guy came here. Xiao also added that he was not present at the operation, but came to eat with them with joy. Calmly, the guy said that since none of the elders were here, would they like to drink a glass, so to speak, to celebrate the victory. One of the girls immediately replied that she didn't drink, and the guy noticed that she was a boar, and now it's clear why she was thrown out. This upset the girl, her gaze immediately directed downward. Nurse Xiao noticed this immediately and was upset by the fact that her colleagues were fighting among themselves. The girl shouted that the guy should be careful with his bad tongue, because he was behaving like a little child. Suddenly, Chang Yu stood up and began to leave. The twins begged her to stay, they wanted her to stay so badly that they were going to kick that guy's ass and then peel Chang Yu's crayfish. This situation really looked like a kindergarten, but the guy did not want to admit his guilt. A moment later, the girl brought three huge boxes of beer. And she said that she doesn't drink because it's hard for her to control herself when she drinks. Knocking on the table, the guy wanted to see how scary she could be. Some time later, many empty bottles lay on the floor. A girl and a guy competed to see who could drink more until they lost consciousness. This was the fourth case of beer, the hero was thinking about whether they were really going to stop there. Suddenly, Jen's phone rang. The guy immediately realized that this call was related to work. The doctor was informed that there was a problem patient and he urgently needed to come. Zhen Ren told Xiao that there were some problems at the hospital, he would go, and told the girl to look after these two so that they would not get drunk to death. After ten minutes, the hero was already in the hospital. An indignant relative shouted that the cardiologist had insulted her sister and she would complain. Zhen said that the cardiology office usually has a female doctor working the night shift, and wanted to know what happened. The lady continued to scream that she heard with her own ears how she insulted her sister. At that moment, the hero asked the woman to give the document, and he looked at it. A few minutes later, the lady was already asking for forgiveness, she didn't hear, so she didn't understand everything correctly, and it was a great pity. The doctor made it clear that there was nothing wrong with not knowing professional medical terms, 
and her sister's poor health must be caused by fatigue, she should get more rest. The girls thanked Dr. Zhen and wished him all the best. Thinking that his colleagues had already gone home, he decided that there was still time left before dawn, and he could take a nap. After a short nap, it was 5 a.m., and someone started calling Hero on the phone. The sleepy guy picked up the phone and heard an extremely shocking thing. He was notified that they had called an ambulance and were on their way to the hospital. As it turned out, his colleagues had been drinking all night and so the doctor thought that they had called an ambulance. But in fact, rather than picking up some homeless person on the side of the road, the man was middle-aged and had a pasty belly. The guy asked that the man be brought urgently, and he was already going down to the entrance to the emergency department. At the entrance, he met his colleague, who was drunk and lying unconscious. The girls tried to dissuade him, but he was obsessed with defeating Chang Yu and could not be stopped. The drunkard had to be sent to the department, and given intravenous naloxone and two 500 mg portions of vitamin C. Looking at Chang Yu, the hero did not realize how she could stand on her feet after drinking all night. A moment later another patient was brought in. As for the homeless man, the hero decided to use the system to carry out diagnostics. After examining the man, he discovered acute gangrenous appendicitis, and the homeless man also had septic shock. For the operation, the hero needed to prepare an operating room, monitors and an oxygen mask. Jin decided to call Director Pan to consult with him, and spoke about the unnamed patient, a man, about 35 years old, according to the preliminary report, acute gangrenous, as well as the absence of any contact information for anyone close to him. The hero also notified that he was going to operate on him. The director extended a helping hand to the hero and also said that he would contact the staff so that they would prepare the operating room and everything else. The guy also told Nurse Xiao to find nurses and prepare for the operation, because they urgently need to start. A few minutes later the operation began. Viewers were amazed that the hero started broadcasting so early. At that moment the doctor was thinking that the homeless man had managed to get himself into such a state and survive. His desire to live was clearly not a joke. And also, the guy revealed that this man had not eaten for about three or five days, homeless people are rarely in good health, and it was unknown whether he would be able to survive the operation. It was a very serious gangrene, the rotted tissues were especially thin, and they also clung to other tissues for a long time, if he was not careful, then when they peeled off, damage to the surrounding tissues was inevitable. There were no signs of trouble, and the operation went well. The patient's parameters are stable and everything was normal. When the patient was under general anesthesia for two hours in a state of septic shock without signs of complications or cardiac arrest, it is truly amazing, his physical condition is too good for an ordinary homeless person, the twins concluded. The hero also understood that the man was definitely not homeless, this can be seen from his strong arms and legs, he almost died from illness and did not eat for three to five days. Everyone wanted to figure out who the hell he was. Morning came and events continued to happen in the hospital. After the operation, Dr. Zhen was dead tired, and there were few clients in the hospital, and since it was morning, he could get some sleep. But his attention was suddenly drawn to the patients. The man talked to his children and said that when he is gone, they should take good care of their mother. Zhen Ren approached the upset people and asked what happened to them. One of the children approached the guy and begged him to save his father. The doctor remained calm and asked to explain what was the matter, but in the meantime he was thinking that the girl was so tall, and it was unknown what children eat to grow like that. The crying girl said her father had cancer and begged the doctor to save him, but the father said that they did not have money for treatment. The patient's diagnosis stated that he had an inguinal hernia. The doctor asked the miss if she had any education and if she understood what was written here, the girl replied that she had just graduated from high school. The hero said that the girl made a mistake, and it says hernia, not cancer, her father does not have cancer. The doctor smiled and asked them not to worry, it was actually not cancer, his disease was easily treatable, and he was going to ask the doctor to give them a form for hospitalization and further examination, if there were no contraindications for surgery, then the man would be operated on. Excited people got even closer to him and asked him not to lie to them, because they really had no money, they wanted to know if the operation was really simple, and if everything would be okay with the man. The guy saw Dyar, Chan passing by and begged her to save him. As soon as the girl approached, with the help of her magical aura she managed to easily find a common language with these people, as if some kind of superpower. 
Approaching Zhen, the girl told him not to be afraid to take a step to speak. The doctor wanted to know if they had decided to have surgery and whether they would be hospitalized, but it was a chronic case and not an option for this hospital. Even though the disease is not complicated, they do not have money for treatment, they need to go to the general surgery department, the bandage alone costs about one or two thousand, and this is practically an annual income. The enterprising girl said that if necessary, she could get married and ask for three thousand or five thousand as a ransom and give it for treatment, but for this she needs to find a husband. Zhen Ren wanted to explain in more detail that this operation is a simple hernioplasty in the general surgery department, it does not cost that much, and the guy also added that someone made an anonymous donation to the hospital this morning, and he will submit a petition to get a discount for them. The lady smiled and thanked the guy for his kindness. He sighed heavily, the guy asked the girl to come up and tell them about it, and he would have lunch first, and after lunch they would have the operation. Sitting in his office, the hero thought that since he got here, it's not that he hasn't done this, he hasn't even seen such simple cases. But just to be sure, he was going to go to the training space. Once in the system, he carried out 121 similar operations, and is now confident of success. A moment later the operation had already begun, the twins were asking the patient if he felt his legs starting to go numb. The man noticeably began to get nervous and did not answer the doctors, Chen was already beginning to think that it was really an accident related to anesthesia, this could be a medical error. The twins also visibly began to get nervous, and again asked the man if his legs were numb. With difficulty, he began to squeeze out words and said mom. Zhen came to reassure the patient and asked him not to be nervous, because he was asked if his legs began to go numb and if he stopped feeling pain, and his mother did not need to know, after which the patient immediately calmed down. The hero said that everything is fine, and we need to continue administering anesthesia. A few seconds later, the man was already asleep. The system gave Zhen Ren a new task, it was called the doctor's favor, its content was that he complete the inguinal hernia operation properly. From that moment on, a new operation began. 